Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday. I don't normally stream on a Friday, but here you go. I've tweeted. We got 138 concurrent viewers and only 37 likes. What is going on? I saw one click there. <laughs> it's like someone, emergency click. Quick, quick. I actually lost three viewers, three people thought, well, that's it then. If you're asking for a like, I'm out of here. I noticed you were all like discussing the romancing in this. Everyone had a meltdown on today's stuff. Well, not everyone. Some people had a meltdown on today's Starfield video because I romanced Andreja. I get that every time I romance someone in a game, I get loads of comments. Oh my god, it's romance someone. Not sure why everyone freaks out every time I romance. <laughs> but, um, seems to happen. It's a, it's a good job that doesn't happen a lot with, um,. With my Divinity Original Sin uh, playthrough, isn't it? <laughs> it's just... Either that or they say, why don't you ever romance? But that's what they always say. Oh my God, he's romance someone. He never romances someone. I romance people in pretty much every game where there's a romance available and it's, you know, appropriate. I didn't romance anyone in Mass Effect because it's just not appropriate. You can't actually uh, uh, romance anyone in Mass Effect that is not under your direct command. That might not be true. Can't you... Can't you uh, shag the reporter, Diana, whatever her name is? And she's not technically under your command. Still a bit of a... Yeah, conflict of interest, power dynamic problem there. But apart from that, I don't think there is anyone. I mean, Liara was, you know, she wasn't on your crew in number two. And she appeared in one of the DLC. But still, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. See, the writers of Mass Effect went to the Captain Kirk school of romance, obviously. Yeah, you can, and it feels weird. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Mass Effect. I think the only other game where you can romance and I didn't romance is Skyrim. But I hesitate to call the romance in Skyrim romance. Correct me if I'm wrong, having never done it. Don't you just go along, talk to a priest, get an amulet, jam it in the in inventory of your intended, and you're done. I didn't romance anyone in Fallout 4, did you? Well, technically, I romanced two people. I romanced Kate. Um, who I think was adorable. Redhead, that accent. I, um, but also, there was that robot. That was a bit of a misunderstanding, though. That was a bit of a misunderstanding. So then, you see, you have Fallout 4. Romance someone. Um. Who? Which other games have I played where I've not romanced when it's a possibility? I mean, you know, you've got The Witcher. I pretty much tried to shag everything. Didn't manage with Shani because I couldn't get past the boss fight for that particular romance. Uh, Witcher 2, I think there was only one, wasn't there? Or I can't remember. There might have been two or three. Um, but I did every one that I could. Witcher 3, same. Um, Cyberpunk. Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I mean, let's face it. Henry must have at least 20 or 30 bastards with the uh, bath wenches. Plus, of course, um, oh god, what was her name? I forgot her name. This is terrible. The, war, the, the actual true romance. The true romance in, in Kingdom of Deliverance. Um, totally blanking on her name. Baker's daughter. Well, I don't know if she was the She was actually the niece, wasn't she, of the baker? Teresa, that's it. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, well, yeah. 
So, like, I don't know where this myth came from. You see, sometimes people are commenting like, oh, he must be really uncomfortable with this sort of... I'm like, do you guys know I'm 54 and have at least four children? <laughs> I mean, like, there's just... There are some weird perceptions about me, I think. Fisto is the only one for you in New Vegas. Can you actually romance anyone in New Vegas? Is it actually possible? Is it? Because I could have imagined Jack romancing someone. I kind of thought he was uncomfy with romance. I'm uncomfy with the Starfield romance because it's god-awful. They go from, oh, you know, I'm not sure I should tell you this. Here, here's my secret. Oh, well, I like you still. Great. Oh, my God, I adore you. I mean, we, at least with, you know, at least in The Witcher, it's just, hey, I'm frisky, you want a shag, right? It's, it, 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 it's, it all, it works. CD Projekt Red just know, you know, they know how to do intimacy. But even Mass Effect sometimes is like, eee, God, oh, just, oh, stop it. Makes no sense. So I am absolutely uncomfortable with things that make my teeth cringe. Yeah. Who did you romance in Dragon Age Origin? <laughs> Morgan. M Morrigan? Morrigan. It was Morrigan. That's, that's how we say it, isn't it? Was it Morrigan? Give me the name. Claudia Black, anyway. That's that's the voice actress. Claudia Black. Because <laughs> big Farscape fan here. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I've romanced all the female characters in Mass Effect. Every single last one of them. I still think they're all vaguely inappropriate. There's, there's a bit of a narrative dissonance there for me sometimes. But then I played various different types of um, Commander Shepard, so. And Tally is my secret love. But, you know, for the Let's Play, it's I tell you what, it's a lot easier to have narrative... Um, shall we say, ripples, dissonance, sort of, like, things that don't really feel right when you're just playing. When you're less playing, because you're verbalizing it, you can hear yourself. It's why romances like in Starfield feel so awful. You say it out loud, it's like, all I want is you, you are everything to me. L literally, this is the first time I've ever expressed any interest in you. We've gone from, I've gone from being a really supportive friend who's never flirted because every single moment the flirting option came up was wholly inappropriate to anyone with an ounce of game, right? But then comes crunch time. It's now or never I've got to go straight to, I love you. I mean... Truly. Let me put it one way. If 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 you were one of my mates and you were pulling lines like the main characters in some of these games, we were out, I'd be dragging you out of there. And it'd just be like, you're not just embarrassing yourself, now you're embarrassing me. Okay? <laughs> just, oh. Who you were going to romance in Cyberpunk? Uh, you'll have to find out. If that isn't unbelievably obvious at this point, I don't know. How it isn't. I do not know how it's not massively obvious. Hmm. But then, you know, romance in Cyberpunk is done really, really well. So. Flirting in Baldur's Gate 3 is certainly a lot better. Baldur's Gate 3 is a little better, but it's still got that kind of... 
it's still got that Bioware not to 100 in two seconds kind of thing going for it. Without it. Some of them feel bad. Lazel's flirt felt perfectly natural. Um, Shadowheart felt a little, you know, she, she... I don't know. I feel sometimes that romance in these games is done in a way that young men wish it would happen. <laughs> if you get my drift. <laughs> so I gotta change my top, it's hot in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're talking romance and I'm getting warm. Who her misses? <laughs> yeah, Lazel's directness. So I started laughing when she said that. Yeah, but Lays Lay it felt right coming from Lazel. It actually felt perfectly right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know where this I don't know where this idea came from with me. Um it's just possibly some of the characters I've played and I've created have been standoffish. Or socially awkward. I mean, let's face it. I don't I mean, play my character Derek would be very very different. But it's Skyrim. It's Skyrim. <laughs> I mean, limit for romance there. Not, not, not good. The other one, the other one I get a lot is, and there's still people doing this, who still say all that I ever play are stealth characters. In spite of the fact that I've only ever played two stealth characters in my entire Let's Pay it Play career. Three, if you count my current V. And she is... I mean, the thing is... Netrunner... Netrunners are the best stealth characters, and she does do a fair number of missions with stealth. So, all, all right, you want to call her a stealth character. I'll, 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 I'll allow that one. It is Netrunner. Although, I, I wouldn't classify her as what people tend to call the stealth Netrunner. She's very much an all-round Netrunner. So, you play very cautious, not stealth. I don't even play that cautiously, to be honest. I play like I haven't saved in a while. If that's what you mean. <laughs> um, but, you know, the only stealth characters I really, really think of as stealth. Well, we'll give, I'll give people V. You've got... Freddy, the Malkavian, and you've got, um, Leonard. Risk-averse. Leonard was risk-averse. Leonard was very risk-averse. But he was also a stealth character. But I've played tons of characters that were not risk-averse. And were also not stealth characters. <laughs> I mean, Derek, Barry, Frank... Jack! Somebody told me Jack was a stealth character. I kid you not. Jack, who has no stealth skills whatsoever, and whose main method of solving a problem is to drink two bottles of whiskey, jam in a chem, bust through a door, and shoot everything with a shotgun. Stealth character. Hank was stealth. Hank. No, Hank! Hank wasn't stealth! Are you insane? I think the only mission... There's two missions. There's, there's one mission where you're supposed to stealth, but you stealth that with every single solitary bloody character. But Hank was not a stealth character. He did not spend a single experience point on stealth. Hank was Leroy Jenkins. He was. 
He invested nothing into the stealth skill. And I started him with the second rank of Obfuscate. But I didn't take any ranks in it. And he only ever used it to maneuver around the um, sewers. He did some stealth missions, but they're missions that generally you're supposed to stealth. Like, doesn't matter what character you're playing. But Hank... Hank was like... Just jump into the play. He was the only Nosferatu that would go karaoke in a bar, right? <laughs> um, I mean, that's what I love doing that, though. I love taking... Because I think everyone just looked at him being an Nosferatu and thought, well, you're going to stealth everywhere. <laughs> Go for you were stealthy in 2014 Thief game. This is true, but that wasn't a character I created, right? I mean, if I'm playing a stealth game, I try to stealth. Okay, I stealthed in Dishonored. Um, you were stealthy in 2014 Thief game, but that game's stealth system was so unbelievably bad. I do remember. How do you not go stealthy? I mean, I, I, I mean, if there's a game like Metro where it, it involves a lot of stealth. At least it does unless if you're playing on Ranger Hardcore. Yeah, I'll stealth because you'll die if you don't. I mean, there's just basically... But, like, stealth characters? Very, very few of them. Yeah, I mean, you can't call a character a... Th it is possible to play Dishonored without stealth in, though, you know. You, you can go full-on, sort of, almost wizard playthrough. You can do kill everything playthrough, but I feel like that is a game where you're basically, you're, it's a stealth game. But I, so what I'm thinking is like RPGs. If you approach a situation with care, you'd be considered stealthy. Well, I approach situations with care in Kingdom Come Deliverance. You know, I would ride up, check the place out, move a little forward, see who I was dealing with, and then try to decide where I was going to fight everyone before shooting them with an arrow and then backing slowly away so they didn't surround me. But unless you're calling Henry, who was wearing full chain plate and everything else armor, a stealth character... I have done a stealth run through of Kingdom Come Deliverance. It is actually... Very possible to do a lot of the game as a stealth character. Um, but not the main quest. When you play on hard mode with damage mods, I can see why people think you only play stealth. I mean, if, if what people mean by stealth is you occasionally, you occasionally crouch and peer over an edge to decide the plan of attack, yeah... But then every character in existence other than Derek. Even Derek does that every now and again, actually. I mean, realistically, I mean, it's kind of like saying Gandalf the Grey is a stealth character, right? If, if Gandalf the Grey is now a stealth character, okay, fine. But... No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. There was a mission in Kingdom Come Deliverance that forced you to do stealth, and it was almost impossible to do it without getting spotted. You are talking about... Oh my god, what was that mission called? It's the fort. Um, the one you end up taking... Um, Pribislavitz? Was that was the town. You end up taking it over. And it was called... Didn't they have the word Venom or Viper in the quest? I've managed to stealth that. I have managed to stealth that. It took bloody ages. Um, now, Call to Arms was the one where you go and take it. Before you go there, before you... Before Call to Arms, you s sneak in. And you can poison things. There's, there's, I can't remember what it's called. But yes, that's a stealth. There is a stealth mission. But yeah, I mean, so like, not a stealth character. Don't play a lot of stealth characters on Let's Plays. Nest of Vipers. See? Mind like a steel trap. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. So anyway, yeah. If anything, if you were to say there's any general cons sort of like overall trend in the characters I play, I tend to play characters who use single fire weapons, um, you know, like, so if I'm playing a game with guns, you'll notice I have an affinity for shotguns, sniper rifles, pistols, revolvers, that sort of thing, rather than uh, um, automatic weapons. Although, in my current playthrough, I'm using a lot of automatic weapons. £10 Super Chat. Thank you, AA. Happy Easter, old chat. Any thoughts on when the Fallout 4 next-gen update might drop? No idea, actually. I'm hoping it doesn't screw over Fallout London, though. So... Yeah. I mean... As I said, I, like... I think of all the characters I've done. My first ever character was a warlock who wore full plate armor, heavy armor. My next character was Will, a power armor wearing, um, heavy weapons wielding maniac. Well, not maniac, but, well, a bit of a pyromaniac. And then it was Jack, who, again, if you're calling him a stealth character, we just... <sighs> I, 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 that's like calling Leonard a warrior because he once waved a sword kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> you know, I think then there was Richard, who was definitely a warrior. He was an archer and a sword and shield user. He was just basically a soldier. If you looked at his skill set, it would have been probably... I wouldn't say standard soldier, but maybe like, you know. People say things like ranger units and stuff like that. He was good with the bow and he was good close range. Probably most of his fights came to close range, though. And he and he he walked around in bright white frozen ice, magical ice armor. <laughs> I mean he could be vaguely stealthy on a snowy mountain, I guess. Because he had no stealth skill. Nothing. Didn't put any perks into stealth whatsoever. I can't think of a single mission he successfully stealthed. I don't think he picked a pocket. I don't think he managed to sneak up on anyone. I don't think... I mean... Richard would be a fighter in D&D. &D. Absolutely. Pure fighter. Um, then what? what? What do we have after that? We got Frank. Pretty similar to Will in a way. Uh, Barry. <laughs> I miss Barry. Derek. You've got... You have Welcome, got Freddy. Man. Freddy and you got Leonard. Definitely stealth characters. But, yeah. Just, I don't know. I think it's some, some people see some of my Let's Plays. And then that's their idea of who I am. And it doesn't matter what happens. I could play an utter, you know, I could I could just play the total opposite of whatever it was the other character was. That first character defines me, I think. Ming. Didn't Ming have some stealth? Ming! Ming! Richard, you called him Master Sneak. I was probably being... Hilariously funny. He was terrible at sneaking. Well, I think his sneak ended up at a hundred, the same way your lockpick ends up at a hundred, on every character you ever play, usually in Skyrim. Um, stealth archers. I mean, Richard could do some shots, could do some shooting from far away with a bow. I wouldn't really call that a stealth character. I, I mean, you want to call that a sniper, maybe? But he didn't really do a lot of that either. Ming, though. Ming was more magic than stealth, but he was mixed. If you remember, he mixed sort of like very necromancy kind of stuff with a bit of ste stealth, didn't he? Didn't he mix it all? Jack had 100 stealth by the end because there's nothing else to put points in other than speech. Yes, exactly. Um... Already made your mind up about Fallout London character? No, actually, I've not. I really haven't. 
I really have not got a clue what I want to do for Fallout London. To be honest, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm a bit of an open book on that one, actually. I should probably give some thought to that. Probably shouldn't be doing that now when I'm supposed to be playing Baldur's Gate 3. So much for a quick start. 270 viewers all thinking, come on, get on with it. This is why you only have 123 likes. Because 151 of us are waiting for you to play the game before we hit thumb up. Um... So it has to be a stealth romancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Role play yourself in Fallout London. I don't, don't know what I want to play. I don't know what I want to play. I mean, there's so many factions there. Maybe I should play a stealth character there. Or, or, let um, Breaking an entry character. I don't know, actually. Hey, maybe I'll play a speech character. I'm sort of doing that in Baldur's Gate, aren't I, really? Because Reginald is a, is a charmer. I'd be curious to see what, you know, charm options they've got in Fallout London. Go for stealth romance Andresia. No one saw it coming. And that's because there's no options to romance any character in Starfield in an appropriate manner before the final crunch. There just isn't. There's not a single moment where the romance flirt option made any sense for any of the characters. Even at the end, when the crunch time came, it didn't make any sense. I guess it probably depends when those moments come up, but even then, usually, it's like, I have to talk to you, I'm in trouble, I... I really, really need a friend right now. And that's the moment you start trying to swing your todger. Yeah. Well played. Yeah. All right. Let's... Should we just... I think I should play. I think I should play a game. <laughs> Had a weird... Weird discussion of all the expectations people have about me. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Now. I was going to camp, wasn't I? I was going to head back to camp. We actually have some things. We have some things, some items. I also think I should spread the love when it comes to potions and poisons and things. Like, I should give some of the fancy arrows to Astarion, shouldn't I? Because he does quite a lot of shooting and is better at it than I am. I don't like the way it doesn't stack things. Why doesn't it just stack things? When, when I add... Wait, I mean, when I add something to this bag, please just stack it! Silly. Silly, silly. Right, um, yeah, I don't know which one, though. I feel like Arrow of Ice. Arrow of Acid, maybe. Let's send that to a stallion. But also some poisons. Potion of Sleep. Drow. Poison. Yeah. Let's send some poisons. I feel like, I feel like he would use those well, coat your weapon in oil. Targets receive a minus three to spell attack rolls. All right, you know what? There you go, Estadion. Have those. Sort by type. Any duplicates? Arrow of darkness. Yes. Kind of annoying. Right, and then for potions. Gain an additional level one spell slot. 
replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Oh, right. You can only have one elixir. This is a... Right. Oil of diminution. Target failing constitution saves suffer disadvantage on strength checks. Ooh, I might try that myself. That's not an elixir, it's an oil. So potions of speed, for example. Could this be something to send to a stallion? Flying, potions of featherfall, another potion of healing. We'll worry about potions of healing as on and when we need them. All right, I'll send that to a stallion as well. Potion of invisibility. So we've got we've got a little bit of potions spreading around here. I'm going to keep the scrolls because I kind of suck in combat. My thing is chatting and talking. We do have something called the shattered flail. Oil is a poison, not a potion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the ones that coat the blade. Yes. Shattered flail. Eight to thirteen. Damage. Wait, wait, wait. It's a poison, but it's a poison you put on your blade, right? It's not... I mean... Okay, getting a little confused. Shattered Flail. 8 to 13 damage. Bludgeoning. Yinogu's Gift. Hitting an enemy with this weapon heals the wielder for 1 to 6 hit points. But they can go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. Okay. It's a mace. That sort of sounds like the sort of... What happens when you go mad? That sounds like the sort of thing that might work well with a berserker. Um, uh, Wait. Mad. Hostile to everyone in the vicinity. Oh, no. 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 You know what? To me, that sounds like an accident waiting to happen. I'm sending that to Gale. He can eat it. This speedy reply. This is a scimitar. I am unfortunately not proficient with them. Oh, that's a shame because that looks bloody awesome. Oh, that is... That is really nice. But kind of pointless. All right, we'll send it to Astarian. Is Astarian able... Careful. To... You, right, probably not. We want to leave him short swords. Got a... Okay, I should send that to Reginald so he actually has a weapon and can do something. Yeah, not profi He's not proficient with that weapon either. Okay, I'm guessing then... That's a shame, really. When the, wep when the wielder hits an enemy with this weapon, they gain momentum for two turns. Shame. I mean, I'm guessing it's... Honestly, this really feels like a, a will weapon. Just, just by vibe Defend alone. The people. Okay, so that's six to seventeen. If I put this on him, it's only three to eight. Could he use a shield, or is he the sort of person who can't use a shield? He's not proficient with it yet, but of course he can. Okay, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Five to ten. Still not that good, really. It's not as good as a great big axe. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. I mean, can he use a shield? Should he use a shield? Is it a good idea using a shield? I mean, the only person I've got who uses a shield is Shadowheart. And I guess I've taken the spear off her, so... And maybe, you know, maybe. We'd send that, couldn't we? Send to... Why can't I send that to someone? That's bloody annoying, isn't it? All right. Need to remember to do Pact of the Blade. What? Doesn't he have... Is he... Not proficient. All right. Per battle. Oh! So he's got... He's not bound with this anymore. So he's got to cast this per battle. Does that make it into a battle? How do I do it on the weapon I have? Okay, this just summons one, right? Uh, 
Uh, okay. So I don't quite know how to change this. Oh, do I have to unbind this one first? Ah, this is why! This is why I can't send it to anyone. It's bound to him. And I unbind it by... Is it under his thing? No, it's not. It's... The blue one. The blue one... Do I... Do, equip... Examine... The blue one. The blue one... What? What is the blue one? I was there. That's nice. When was I there? The blue one. Blue ability, not yellow. Misty step. Minor illusion. Blue mace icon. I'm sure it's staring me right in the face. Blue mace icon. Blue below the hex. What's a hex? What is a hex? Oh, the spell hex. This one. Ah. Oh, do I just... Oh, I... I was... <laughs> I see what you're saying. I was doing the wrong... I thought I had to cancel the binding, so I'm looking for I'm looking for icons around here or under here or whatever. I see. I get it. I was looking at Pact of the Blade, not Bind Pact Weapon. This summons one. That's okay. Yes, right. My my bad. I, for some reason, I thought it was the same ability, but it would. You know what? Never mind. Confusion abounds. Basically, yeah. That one makes a weapon. This one. Binds the weapon. Got it. Now I can send this to Shadowheart. All oh, right. Okay. Should I leave him with a rapier? Don't think I need one anymore, do I? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interest. Oh, I've actually got a rapier now. Brilliant. I can at least hit things once more. Not that I do a particularly good job of it. I am completely useless in combat. What a stallion. Did we have anything for you to check out? Potion of invisibility. I'm going to leave those. Probably should get a bag for you. Alec. Oh, I tell you what I do have. I have... Am I still in... I'm still in... The, I'm still in the turn mode, aren't I? No one stopped me yet. I have... Loads of coins. I got two more coins. So, we can, we can try one of those coins out on Carla. All right, yes. Next level, you have to pick some useful combat skills. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think I've got too much healing, haven't I? I've got... No, I've only got one healing word. I've just got one healing word. I just... To be honest with you, I don't remember what else I had. Sleep? Probably useful. Bit of crowd control. Can't remember what else there was. You can never have too much healing. Yeah, it's pretty much the only thing he can do, though. <laughs> it's like... Uh, right. So... I also wanted to check the chest, because I sent something back. But we're definitely sleeping. Where is the bloody chest? It's up there. Right. What's hiding here? I, want to be, I, I assumed I'd be able to do some damage. Okay, she's got the speedy reply. You know what? I think that's probably a good weapon for her. What did we send back here? I sent back... Great Axe plus one. Wait. Is that the damage I do with that? I'm not proficient with it, so no. But... And all of this... Gloves of Heroism. Not really applicable. I'm going to keep those just in case we meet a paladin. Didn't we get a big... Ah, we did. We got a big sword that I sent to Lazelle. The Sword of Justice. And it has Tears Protection, which was... Protects the creature from attack, increase its armor by two, spell ends when the Sword of Justice is unequipped. See, that would be a good... Wait a minute. Will that work on any armor? Will that work on any armor? Like, you don't need to have no armor on. 
That would be very bad for Karlak. But I feel like that would be very good for Lazelle because she doesn't really have concentration abilities, does she? Okay, thinking that's a good one for her. Definitely a good one for her. Requires concentration, but it also requires you never unequip it. And let's face it, with Karlak, that is not happening. <laughs> So, and I'm guessing once you unequip it, you've lost it and you need to wait. No, no. Uh... Oh, you could keep casting it, I guess. I mean, you could keep casting it. But honestly, do we think Carla is going to not be lobbing things? I don't. In fact, I'd be shocked and stunned if Lazelle doesn't start throwing things as well. But I feel like I'd like to go out with Lazelle and Karlak. So we've got one person who legs it in and one person who lobs spears at people. Karlak can't concentrate while raging. As well, that's the other thing, isn't it? All right, so. Rage would also break concentration. Yep, yep. All right, does anybody need to chat? It does not look like it. I think we should rest. We're... Actually, to be honest with you, it's only me and... Carlac that do need to rest, but All right, I, I feel like I'm over resting. I know everyone tells me I'm not, but I've actually got two more spells left I could heal with. But fine. Where's the dog? Where's the doggy? Hello. Seems like a good moment to talk. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yes, I am. Betty. Karlak can throw things like furniture and small enough enemies like goblins. Yeah, but let's face it, that spear is bloody awesome. Okay. Right, then we're just we're just basically sleeping. You have enough camp supplies? Yes! Come on. Come on. Oh. What are you hiding? Can you summon the dead? Bring them back. Can you um can you shut up and let me read? Uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, he's talking to the book. What? No, I'm, I'm fine. I was just perusing this little finder. Will you shut up? Yeah, that's not worrying. <sighs> Forgive me. This book reads you more than you read it. Sounds dangerous. Maybe you should leave it alone. No, I don't think he's going to want to do that. And honestly, I, I sort of get it. That could be... Very useful. Dangerous, but useful. And we kind of need useful, and dangerous is sort of, well, fairly normal for us. So what do you mean? I mean it plays with your mind. There are secrets here, but the book has spirits. They fight you every step of the way. I almost reached the end before they drove me out, and drove me all but mad. Hmm. Now every time I open it, the voices surge back into my mind. I can't reason with them. They exist to protect that book. Hmm. Then steal your mind and destroy them! <laughs> okay, when it girl would girl would take it off your hands. What secrets? Ooh. Is there anything we can do? What secrets? I don't know. That's the point. The secret. I get that, but do you Someone have any went through a lot of trouble to protect this tome? It has to be something more than a book of cantrips. Absolutely. Still, I doubt this will help us with our parascience. Maybe it's best to put it aside for now. Uh, best to focus on what's... Uh, what are you hoping to find? No, look, keep at it! I'm sure you can figure it out. And honestly, I'm just as curious. As long as those spirits remember their mission, I doubt it. Keeping the book safe is all they know. But still, we live in hope, figuratively speaking. Oh, come on! Where's your sense of adventure all of a sudden? Where's your sense of adventure? Can we get rid of the dead druid? Is that, like, not a thing? Does anybody else want to talk? I think everyone's good at the moment. Have I missed anyone? Right, they're all good. Okay. Let's go to bed. But 
That's mine. Uh, auto select? You doing, you doing, 40 or 40? Well done, I have got... Okay, it is possible that uh, I could possibly camp many, many times. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who? Oh, the owl bears come. Food. Hungry. Oh, I have food? Would you like it? Go away, you're not welcome. I, yeah, no, I've got food. Would you like it? Wow! Universal approval! Want bite. Come on, then, take it. Now, go ahead, eat. No, no, no. Eat, 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 eat. We've got loads of food. Food. Eat more. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. We got... I've just been... Uh, when I see a creature as sweet as that, I hardly miss the gate at all. No. Run. What? <laughs> Run what? Oh, God, are we about to get attacked? It'll be back. Be on your guard or risk getting a peck. Oh. So it's it's gone away. All right, well. Oh. Okay. So he's not really comfortable enough to be staying with us yet. All right. Okay, well, sure we'll... One day I'll catch a break. Oh, so am I... Oh, we could sit right. I gotta take a stallion just because of the whole lock picking thing. And I sort of feel like I need somebody who can lob a bloody. Mind you, he doesn't. Mind you, he's. I mean, I'm, what I'm thinking is is. Lazel, but no, I'm gonna take Will. He does have a mixture of distance and um, close up. With Lazel, we'll be going pure. In your face. Mind you, she'd be the only one out of the rest of us. Oh. You know what? I'm going to give that some thought. For now, though, let's just get out of here. Okay, and we stood back here. Well, ah, yes, I remember now. So, we're going to leave these. No, they've gone. They've gone already. Well, to be honest with you, I wasn't going to... I didn't think it was a good idea to sneak a peek at the chest right now. I want to find them at this inn and then find out what's in the chest. Just because I'm nosy and need to know. I say need, want to know and... Well, I'll send that'll fit in my pack. Okay. What? We came up here, didn't we? We came up here. Oh, 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 oh. Tell you what, let's go around. Let's have a look. Where are we? Yes. We're, we're, what the hell? Right. Yeah. Let's check this area. We do... Ah. Meet with Rugen's associates is up there. The Githra... Yankee Kresh is over there. I think I'm gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna go... We're gonna head over there later. With Lazel. Oh! Before we do that... Oh. There's a little thing I've not seen right there. That's annoying. But there is a there's a there's a hag. There's a hag I want to talk to there. And I, I'm sort of hoping the, the gentlemen we had to sort of knock out have gone and are not feeling uh too belligerent towards us. Hmm. Probably a fat chance of Where the hell am I? Looking ahead. Probably a fat chance of that, but hey, we can live in hope. Okay. This smoke. Something's burning. 
Uh, yes. The homestead. Okay. Was this dead drought really? What? Was there something there? Wheelbarrow. Should we take a wheelbarrow? No, it doesn't look like it. We have got dead drow. Uh, also, first recruit Tristan. First recruit F what? He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Um. My condolences. Uh, I'm going to go with what the hell's happened here. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Uh. Please, just leave me be. Can we help? Apparently not. Okay. Dead drow raider. Okay. Don't touch me. Question. Do, do people get really upset if you start using necromancy? Because I would like to talk to this drow. Um. But I'm going to try anyway. Nope. Too damaged. Let's get going. Okay, so. Another door what here. Lies before me. This front door. Signpost. Seems simple enough. The risen to Joaquin's rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Elterel. Okay. So there's a there's been a drow goblin raid here. Obviously. Flaming fist jacket. Dead drow raider. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Who who needs it? Okay. What's up for discussion? We'll never put this fire out. You're better off helping anyone trapped inside. We'll do. Peace. Sure, of course. How do we do that? Hello. Keep pushing. Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard. He's here. Yes. Now make yourself useful. Push, damn it. Push. Okay. Bard performs. We can do this together. Put your back head to step in and help. Bard performance. No, right yeah, now. We can rally the troops, men. We can do it. Put your backs into it. Push, damn it. Oh, don't want to use. Don't want to use that on friends, do I? No. Come on, don't get a warm. That'll do. That'll do! Do it! That's right! Three, two, one, push! That means you guys have got. Oh! Oh, I'm a badass. Oh! Inside! Hurry! We don't have much time! That's how you do it! Can you hear me? Oh, come, just go. We're coming! Where is everyone? Who, where, what? Okay, let's think, think, rather than just rush around. We managed to get inside. We need to find the Grand Duke and fast. Okay, where would the Grand Duke be? Potato porridge, no. Um. Would they have gone up to avoid the fire? We're coming. They all ran upstairs, so that seems to be a fairly Oh! Could spell trouble. Get me out. <laughs> okay, I think we found it. Right. Um, broken door. Can we smash this open? Okay. Benrin. Oh. Get this thing off me! Strength. Brace yourself. 
Bard performance. Pre pretend the beam is too heavy to lift. What? Investigation. Find leverage to shift the beam. Apparently that's my best chance. Why would pretending the beam is too heavy to lift work? Still my best shot. This is insane. This is insane. Actually try and lift it. Guys, we need to lift this bloody thing. Come on. Oh my god, I'm never gonna make it. Uh, uh. Why can't I get one of the others to do it? Why can I not switch to one of the others? Can I switch to one of the others? Can I switch? Is it possible or is he going to die? Is this one of those ones? Leave means leave him to die, slow suffocation. Uh, everyone kills you. I mean, is it that? Is it a, is it a, no. If you leave him, you're showing that you want him to die. You can switch. You sure I can switch? All right, because I'm never going to... Wait, 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 didn't I? Oh, no. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Careful! Stand steady! No! Ah! Is he... What? What? I don't. I get. What? I'm not totally a thousand percent sure what just happened. <laughs> no, but I thought I could switch. People told me I could switch. Oh, for the love of just fine. Uh, what am I supposed to? What, wh why am I in turn based mode? Do I need to be in turn based mode? No, why don't we? Can everyone get. You, you, uh, you, you just. Oh, oh. What, are we all on. F we're all on bloody fire. Oh my god, we're all on bloody fire. The wind back in my sails. Over here? In it. Okay, guys. Come on. What are you doing? Smack the door down. Okay. Come. I'm afraid Papa thanks Miss Wait. Yeah, that's fine. Follow the Grand Duke. Wait. 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 Okay, I thought I thought you were pulling us back in. Right. Come on, guys. Try to avoid the fire. Where's Okay, so I couldn't actually leave and switch. All right, where the hell's she gone? Is that her? What? Where? where did she go this way? No. What? Is she behind me? Where the hell is she? Where's she? Where has she gone? I already failed the strength roll to save him. Right, but I could have used inspiration. I could have used inspiration and... That's... Is, is that her? Councillor Floric? Councillor Floric, Are you alright? Well, by the main god, 
what's become of you? A story best left for calmer days. Now breathe deeply. Are you in pain? Scorched throat. A few hairs singed off. Nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manip and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The Drow have your father. Will, you're the son of nobility. Raven God, I don't know the name. Don't actually know the name. Sorry. He is the great champion of the Council. Commander of the Flaming Fist. The binding force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Will, you must hold little love for your father. Ooh. But please, find him and return him to the city. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. Small question. She knows you. Hasn't mentioned the horns. Why entrust this to me? I'll rescue Duke Ravengard. You have my word. Yes, we will do it. To try and make up for the lousy job we did of rescuing your man in there. Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. Whoa, folk hero rescued from the flames. Will is inspired. You receive, was that Will? No, Reginald receives. What? Either. The sparky points. It is a trident. Electric blood when the wielder deals damage using this weapon. They gain two lightning charges. Or the jolt shooter. Electric blood. When the wielder deals damage using this weapon, they gain two lightning charges. Okay, what is a lightning charge? Lightning courses through you. You have plus one attack rolls and deal additional lightning damage. Ooh. Hmm. So. How do, how do I... How do I stop? With this one? I want, I want to... Oh, thank you. There you go. So the sparky points is a trident. Don't think so. This one definitely looks a possibility. But then there's the rapier. Same thing, I guess. It's not actually a huge amount of damage, though. Oh, would it do more damage if I wielded it? No, it doesn't, actually. It... Hmm. It's odd. It's not a rapier, is it? Spell sparkler. What is it? Is it a wand? It's bludgeoning damage. Oh, it's a staff. It's a staff. <laughs> Going with that, then. Going with that. Oh. Will. Shit. Yeah. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Okay. Well, he's not just any Grand Duke. He's Alder Ravenguard. The most influential Duke in the city. Okay, then the choice is clear. We should rescue him. Definitely. Aren't you worried? Your father's been abducted. Were you close to your father at all? I can't trust you if you keep so many secrets from me. <laughs> What's the secret? Like, what? Like... He's got a comic. Right, okay, so here's my entire family tree. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, we, we're, we've got to rescue him. We're going to rescue him. Probably very important for the people of this area, right? Totally. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzen would have little use for my father. Intel? Ransom. No. 
This is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. You shouldn't keep secrets from this. <laughs> I'm sorry, why not? Like, have I told him my entire birth heritage? No! Talk about something else. I'm all for it. Uh, okay. But I am going to be a really nosy person. What was it like to be the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the Caldwells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Are you okay? Courtly dance. I'd love to see a demonstration. And now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Yeah, there's a story there, isn't there? Yes and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Uh, Even if I might look like one. Right. But sometimes it's hard to know who the monsters are. Yeah. All right. So I've got a new bow. I think I'm going to use this one. I could give this to... I could give this to... Mind you, don't I have a... Yeah, I could give this to a Starion, but I've actually got some extra damage on this. If only I had some extra ability to hit with it. I might give it to a Starion. Maybe I should give that to a Starion as well. Yeah. Actually, probably best using the longbow anyway, seeing as that's why I'm wearing the gloves, so I get... Um... Oh, God. Right. You know, before we start worrying about that, we're... Where was where was the building that was? Bu I guess there was no one else. Flaming fist, right? Let's not loot everyone. Um. Yeah, dead goblin. Fables of Faerun too. The daring. Always room for more. Dwerga. Okay. Read. In the deep city of Graxdug, lived a young Dwerga named Shul who could conjure eerie whispers in his brother's minds. Eager to develop his psionic powers and take over his clan, he asked the godfather who could teach him further. Cross the dark lake on the south shore, there is a chasm, said the godfather. Within the chasm lives a rogue mind flayer called Eir. It will teach you all you must know. Shul's voyage was fraught with danger. He fended off aboleths and cloakers alike until he reached the mind flayer's chasm. Ear emerged from its hovel, tentacles writhing. I am here to learn, Shull told him. Very well, came the response. On the first moon's passing, Ear taught Shull how to read minds. On the second, it taught Shull how to bend them. But this was not enough for Shull. He wanted to destroy minds with a mere word. So be it, said Ear, and it bestowed a blessing on Shull. It is yours, the knowledge to shatter a single mind. But you may only speak the command once, Ear told Shul. For then it is for forever forgotten. Ready to assume control of his clan, Shul returned to Graxdug. Show me what you have learned, the Godfather told Shul. Shul grinned, spoke the command, and his own skull spattered, splashed, shattered <laughs> before the Godfather's eyes. Said the Godfather, the lesson is complete. 
Hoo-hoo! Don't mess with the old man. Okay, what have I got? I've got I'm missing things, aren't I? I've been missing people. Let's have a look. Cherry Cherish, new member. Welcome. Missed you, didn't I? And Keith Braunstein, remember. Are you going to play Dragon's Dogma? You mean number two? Um. Possibly. Let's go with possibly. I'm hearing mixed things about it. Tiger Eyes. Thought. Pair bow with sparkler boots and use to full advantage. Sp I've st I, I don't know whether I've still got those bloody boots. You know the one? You mean the ones where I stand in water and start sparkling things? Would they mix well? Um, we could try it. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go get a drink. But before I do, so that, that actual choice, that actual choice to pretend the beam is heavier than it was, was actually me being a dick? Why? For what reason? What? I, d I thought perhaps it was me doing some sort of, I, you know, like like performance and somehow getting into the character and being able to get more strength. I wasn't completely sure. Now, it makes more sense that it was me being a complete dick. But why? <laughs> why? Oh. Yeah. So before I tried the strength option... Could I have quit and gone to Carla? Could I have, could I have done that? I, I don't think I could, could I? So I should have used the inspiration. I should have used inspiration. There are blatantly evil choices. That is just... Yeah, the problem is, is it's, it's... I don't even understand what the bla, bla, what's blatantly evil about it. Let's, that's just... I don't know. Daft, almost. Like, the, the, I knew nothing about this person. I had no... A reason to do that. I had no incentive to do it. I, I mean, I didn't even... It wasn't even like I was mocking him and enjoying his pain and suffering. I was pretending to help. The best role is not always the best option. Well, you got that one. But the motivation was strange, as, uh, as Bates said. Yes, it bloody well was. It's just, um, yeah. You could choose to save his wife after. Yeah, he mentioned his wife. Because CPRG players demand edgy evil options. Gotta watch out for them. <laughs> uh, am I going to multiclass on this character? I doubt it. First playthrough, probably just want to see what the... The class has. Um, yeah, edgy evil. Yeah, and it does, honestly, that does strike me as the sort of weird option that someone very young, new to, to tabletop role-playing games, thinks evil is. Um, to be honest with you, though, there's been some games like that. Bioware, Knights of the Old Republic, one of... The best RPGs I've ever played. Knights of the Old Republic. Absolutely superb. I think they're still talking about making a remake. Absolutely superb. You should play that if you've not played it. It's very old, very dated. Do not look up any spoilers. Do not look up anything about it. Just play it. Trust me, well worth it. But if you're trying to go to the dark side, sometimes there are options that are just you being... A bit of a dick. <laughs> like, like, not Darth Vader. Like, there are options where, there are moments where even Darth Vader would have possibly even just saved a person because it took nothing from him or something, or, you know what I mean? Or because this person might have some information for them, right? But, but to play the game and become the dark side, you had to constantly take all of these options. 
that, that was almost akin to just being a bit of a dick. Like, <laughs> it, it was kind of like, you know, Darth Vader walking through the Death Star and then kicking a puppy or something. You know, like, just kicking it for the giggles. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, no, this is, this is not right. So, um, all right. So anyway, so basically I need to not look for any hidden meaning in the thing. It's just sometimes the descriptions, like the one where it's like, where I had a bard option to motivate everyone to push the door. Even that, I was like, that does mean I'm motivating everyone, right? It, it didn't... Sometimes it's like you look at it and you, you're having to interpret it. But this one was reasonably, reasonably obvious in hindsight. I mean, probably reasonably obvious without hindsight. As long as you accept that there are some options where you just get to be a complete dick for no reason. <laughs> Which apparently is a thing. Tiger eyes. Ooh, I thought because your companions were wearing them. Sorry about that if I was wrong. Boots. Oh, no, no. I think I left the boots. I may have even sold them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, okay. There's actually a hidden reason here that the roguish bard may go, might go for, but you've not found it yet. Okay. Right. Didn't you feed the boots to Gale? It's possible. I might have. Definitely, definitely a possibility. Still, there you go. It's done, it's done. <laughs> Let's hope he... He's probably another really important character like the druid, right? And and I've des I've, I've condemned the entire world to... I mean, wasn't really annoying is I did finally actually lift the damn beam, didn't I? I mean, I failed the strength check, but then immediately picked the beam up and lifted it. Then the roof fell in, and he just stood there and watched it. Not 100% sure why that happened. <laughs> I'm going to be back in a second. I'm just going to grab a drink.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> On the bright side, he didn't die because um, of my little amateur dramatics. He died because I failed the strength roll. So I guess it didn't actually hurt him, even if it sort of mocked him. It's also taught me that perhaps I need to make sure I... What the hell is Karlak doing? Okay. Um, you probably couldn't see that, but... <laughs> She was shaking her backside. Um, yeah, I probably need to start having a um, a store of uh, potions on on my person for such moments. Um, so yeah, my pretending to lift didn't actually get him killed. It just <laughs> really confused the living crap out of me. Um, oh, good grief! And did you also notice that I opened the door? Just as my character was saying, the heat coming off that door. Pro <laughs> I'm going to wait. Actually, that's very good advice. Don't open doors in a burning building if, uh, without checking the door for heat. Oh, oh, it's Easter. Chocolate. I'm not going to have any until my family arrive. Strength potions or the cantrip resistance. Okay. Yeah, I need more cantrips. I think, for a bard, what I need, instead of combat spells, are spells that I can use in moments, you know what I'm saying? Is that a, is that a bard ability, like, strength? I can't change my bard spells, can I? Or I can, can't I? I can change my bard spells through withers. Throwing water on the area might have been a good idea, too. Ooh, I like it. So maybe I should change my spell so that I can... Because I, th I feel like my role is during conversations. That's where I'm supposed to be doing stuff. So the fact that I'm crap at combat, maybe if I just have stuff that... Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, it's alchemy, isn't it? What can I make at the moment? Potions. I can make antidote, potion of animal speaking. Don't need any of those. Anything else? Salts. Uh, mugwort. Rogue's morsel. Alright, I guess... I guess I just make these anyways. That'll give me more potions that I can make. Essences. Acorn truffle. Ashes. Balsam. Dragon egg mushroom. Okay. Is this is it worth doing? I mean balsam. Can balsam be used for anything other than ashes, or is it got to be ashes of balsam? I'm going to assume that if I can if I can make it, I should. That is what I'm going to assume. Until everyone screams at me. Warg fang. Extract. So extract all is probably worth doing then. Just, 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 just do it. All the extractions. That doesn't make all of the potions I can make. Potion of greater healing. Oh, that's a nice one. Extract all. All right, I'm going to extract all. Just, no. Oh, it made a bunch more of those. It didn't... Okay. Oh, I've unlocked a bunch of recipes. Elixirs of arcane cultivation, which is what exactly? Arcane energy, bloodlust, peerless focus, resistance. None of these would have helped, would they? Grenades, coatings, diluted oil of sharpness, oil of accuracy, sublimates, iridium crystal. Hmm. So, they don't actually tell me what any of them do. Gotta be honest. That's slightly annoying. Extract all ingredients. So, that's from the grass. I can now make a... Sus okay. Alright. Potion of Featherfall. Don't really need potions of Featherfall, though. Really? 
Antidote, Potion of Animal speaking. Oddvon, five pound super chat. Thank you very much. You can respec with Withers. You know more now about the kind of bard you want to be. It's a good move. Well, I'm not going to respec classes and stuff like that, but I might respec the spells I've got, seen as they are pretty much. Can't change them. All right. Animal. Animal speaking. Don't need Featherfall. Could it be useful to have one or two of them around? And, for example, potions of healing and potion... Right, no. Like, ashes of balsam are used in loads of different things, right? Oh, no. That's ashes of hyena here. Potion of speed. Potion of speed. This... I. Yeah, I, I think I've got some of those. I can make a lot of those. All right, let's... Let's make some potions of speed. Who should use those, though? That's the... That's the... Million dollar... Bloodlust! That was a pretty good one. I should start using these and having people... Gives you one more action per turn. Ooh, I should sort of spread the love a little bit with those, I'm guessing. Bloodlust, that's Wargfang. Potions, when you make them and one of the ingredients says any salt, you can click the icon and change specific... Oh! Is that worth doing? Is it worth doing just to change it to... So that you don't use... Probably is, isn't it? Peerless focus, though. Is it even worth making? Bloodlust. All right. Resistance. Dragon egg mushroom. Grenades. Oil of accuracy. I'm guessing that... Makes my bows more accurate. So maybe I could... I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna craft one of those. And where's greater healing? Any salt? Ashes of balsam. You know what? Greater healing. Probably very, very useful. Now. Gain an additional level one spell slot. Replaces effects from other elixirs. Um, until long rest. What does that actually mean, though? Does that mean I can basically cast one more level one spell? So, one more level... I mean, it's okay, but it doesn't look brilliant. Um, yeah, I've got two oils of accuracy. I feel like I should probably use those. Vitality cures any potion or disease. Potion of flying could be useful. Two feather fall. Potion was diminution. All right. Okay. Speed. I feel like I should split these and give one each to everyone, just in case we need. So I'll give one to Carlac. One to Astarian. One to... Uh, Will. That's with me, and I'll keep this one myself. All right. Simple Toxin. I'm going to... You know what? I might actually try using that. All right. And this can go back to camp. As can... These... I'm going to keep that. All right. Okay. So. Dead Goblin Raider. Gold and Rogue's Morsels. Soap bar. Can we use soap for anything other than cleaning? I mean. No. <laughs> Probably not. It's, it's pretty much does what it says on the package. Okay. Was this the building? A is for Azareth and other gods too. Oh god, Middleth. Open up. Did we save anyone? I feel like the answer to that is absolutely no. Is speaking to the dead kind of bad for the dead? Do they not like it? Can we find out about her? 
I saw it. Rescue the trapped man. Oh. Benrin died. What? What? That, that man under the beam died. Didn't he die, like, ages ago? Oh my god. Was he alive? No. Okay. It's the guy in the fire. Which guy in what fire? We see he's still alive. Oh my god. What's in here? You finished. Oh, that was his wife. That was his wife. Oh, right. No, he was dead. It was just his wife. All right. Okay. Uh, Benrin. That, was that him? Oh, wow. The fire definitely spread, didn't it? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, there's nothing in there. Okay, so... If I click down there, are they going to go running around the stupid way? All right. So the wife died too. Couldn't even save her. Couldn't save anyone. Wow. Definitely, definitely not a good day. For saving people, all right. Uh, probably. No. Wait, what? Oh God, are we? Are we actually? Oh, oh God, is the fire spreading over here? Everyone, come here! Come here! Stop that! Okay, the lot of you, get over here! I'm going in by myself. Stay right there. Potato porridge, probably not worth going for. Okay, mashed potatoes and buns. I do have some water. Maybe I could throw water. Dead goblin? That's outside. Okay. What? Oh, I give up with you people. I really do. Boiled potato, onions, baguettes. Okay. We, 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 we got an owl bear. We got an owl bear to feed. Let's just. Where are you going? Where are you going? Pick it all up. Or oh, it all up. We got a. It's it's a hungry little thing, and it's going to grow up into a giant, enormous hungry thing that hopefully will not dive bomb me from above. Okay. Yeah. No. Didn't save anyone. But I've got lunch sorted for a while. Okay, pig's head. Yeah, I probably should GTFO soon as well. Okay. Yeah, let's just let's get out of here. I am I am not getting anywhere. Okay. Right. Come here, everyone. Come here. Stop being blinded. Wow. Also, I guess... I should heal Will. Oh. Right. Well, that wasn't... amazing, but... Alright, there's something over there. Find the missing shipment. Meet with Rugen's associate. Rugen's associates are... Still over here. Dead halfling. Okay, I've got a, a, a sweet key. We got a sweet key. What? What? What is going on with you people? Are you walking through fire or something? Oh, flaming fist mercenary. How did I walk through here without? <gasps> Dead goblin. Raider. Oh, no, no, no. That's stealing. That is definitely stealing. No. Dead goblin. 
You are not looking where you're walking. I'm looking very much where I'm walking. I'm just not looking where they're walking. I figured that was their job. Apparently not. Apparently they will just literally follow me through fire. Even if I go around said fire. Dead drow radar and another dead goblin. There's a battle of water. They could be yeeted. Yes, <laughs> maybe a good idea. Drow poison and faded drow leather armor. I'll send that to a stallion. I can try it. I don't think it's going to be something he wants. Flaming fist. No, no, no. We're not looting. Not looting those guys. All right. Okay. So. See? Watch, watch. I just walk around the fire. Oh, no, no, I don't. Of course I don't. Yeah, I spoke too soon, didn't I? I it did, of course, speak too... <coughs> really? Really? Wow. 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 Just... Yeah, wow. Huh. Okay. Okay. We've got lost my condition bless. Oh, is that? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, don't, don't. No, no, don't do that. Pick up, pick up. No, I tell you what. Come on, let's go. You pick up. I think it's a barrel of water. It's a barrel of water. We might have a use for that. How many of those could you carry before it starts getting silly? Put <laughs> load. We should bring... Oh, wow. We didn't bring any fire barrels for Those you. Interesting. Never no, that's what we should have been doing. Bringing you fire barrels. Yes. Let's have a look. Jumping over the fire, what a concept. Well, I didn't actually know I had to. I thought I could just wander around it. I'm going to get cut up. Okay, what did I not do? sense. Talk, did, I tell you what, uh, Will and um, a stallion. Does a stallion need a torch? Why would a stallion need a torch? He's a vampire. Can't he see? Hmm. What's that? Can't he see in the dark? Tieflings can see in the dark, right? They've got dark vision. So it's just me and Will. And um, Wait a minute. Isn't Will, like, demonic now? Can't he? Doesn't he get some benefits with it other than bloody horns? No. Okay. I'll give it a shot. He and Karlak have dark vision. All right. Trust no one. Can I see it somewhere? Oh, I need to do my... I haven't done all my things. I've not done all my things. But how do I see dark vision? Is it is it only in his... There it is, dark vision. Can see in the dark up to 12 meters. How about Will? Gate. Will doesn't have it. Got the horns, doesn't Take have anything else. Eh. Is that blood? Right. No, never mind. Everyone, come here. Let's get everyone. She's dancing. She is the... I adore her. I adore her. Seriously. She's just jigging away to her own internal tune. I feel like I want to, I want to. Play some music, see if she dances. It's too relaxed, isn't it? Too relaxed. Come on, can we go have something? Old time battles, the power. An enchanting crowd pleaser, come on. Nope. Not the right thing. Speak with animals. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Breathe okay. Deep and move. Breathe deep and move. Oh. Okay, we got. Anything of use? There's a dead ox. This is the spot Rugen marked. Doesn't look like much. It doesn't, does it? Which. Makes me wonder what the hell's going on. Can, can I? Uh, 
That works. Something Ops. good here, I hope. Dead Goblin Raider. Monsters <laughs> everywhere. Frighten me a little bit there. Persuasion. Look at me, I'm not a monster. Intimidation, stay back, I don't want to hurt you. No, 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 no. I'm not a monster. Look at me, I am not a monster. I cannot be absolutely in any way misunderstanding that. Tiger Eyes, thank you for the $5 super chat. All good, I love you. First playthrough, all learning. Glad you are enjoying Baldur's Gate 3 and so glad you found Carla. Definitely you, companion. Absolutely. Persuasion, come on. I'm not a monster. Look at me. I am not a monster. I didn't need to do that, probably. I mean, really. Yep. No. You're not one of them at all. I was ready to run you through. My mistake, friend. I'm glad you didn't. Oh, it's all right. What happened here? Did you kill the goblin in the stable? Did you... No, the dead... Well, okay, let's just ask what happened. An attack. Monsters. Little well, ones. And taller ones. They took the shiny one. He killed many. The shiny one? Took the shiny one. Is that someone in armor? Darth Hedgehog, welcome, new member. Yeah, did you kill the goblin in the stable? Yes, it was screaming, waving around its metal. I made him stop screaming. Nice. Do you know the dead ox outside? Gotta ask. Him? He was the biggest. No, I'm the biggest. Mm, that's one way to look at it, I guess. Okay. Oh. Gold and Hollywood trumpet. All right. Is he? He's enraged. Okay. Then, uh, then, then I will leave you alone. Also. Yeah. Uh, Attention! Pick up that, please. Ooh. <laughs> God, she's adorable. Oh, okay. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. We didn't pick up the barrel in time. Recite Ruthen's passphrase, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. Dexterity, wait, listen, detect thoughts, read his mind. No, no, we, we've... Little Serpent, Long Shadow. Right? Oh, Helm's Orbs. I thought you were Flaming Fist. No. Well, down you go, then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Thank you. All right. Da, 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 da. Good singing voice. Could you please pick that up? Thank you. Right. What to do? Excellent. Okay. At the ready. So, some sort of trade going on here. Probably should not hang around too much. Okay, and he's just going to hang around there. Where, where did he say? Behind the wardrobe? Didn't he say something? No. Or was it back out here? Uh, probably should have been pink. Ah, there it is. Shelves, probably. I want, I want to talk to him again. You said you could pass, didn't I? Yeah, 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 I'm just... Okay, fine, 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 fine. Fill up some traps, please. Nope. Okay, I, I want to know what's going on down there, so... We're going down, I have... No idea. What is going on? I'm pretty much making this up as I go along. Okay. Some sort of den of thieves? Alright. Not 
seeing anyone here. Um, inroads by arms dealer Gortash. Might be useful. Right. Inroads by arms dealer. Okay, nine fingers. Here follows a report on the inroads upstart smuggler Enver Gortash has been making on the illicit arms trade in the Kionthar Valley. Though inroads badly understates the case, annexation would be more apt. The former black market leaders, the Knights of the Shield, and outside the city, the Zentarim, have largely been supplanted by Gortash's operation. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume Gortash will stop there. Bears watching closely. Bursa Uktar. Okay. Wouldn't try. But they said they were coming here with a... They said they were coming here with a, um... With that chest. That was not was the chest. Wardrobe. And he said something about trade. Didn't he say something about trade? Didn't he say something? The missing shipment. Speak with the Zenterum leader. We were able to successfully enter the hideout. Time to find out who's charged. Didn't he mention... Pretty sure he mentioned going through a, a, a wardrobe. So actually, I think I think he probably said something like "down the hatch, go through the wardrobe." And I was just not really paying very much attention. Yeah. And he gave me a key, not for the hatch, but for the wardrobe. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. That's what the key's for. Okay. All right then. Okay. I'm a bit dismissive, aren't I? I Ooh. Got a waypoint. Darth Hedgehog, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Same name as Twitch, been a viewer for a long time since 2014. Recognize the name. Darth Hedgehog. Not one that's easy to forget. Okay. Yeah, that's not worrying. Okay, let's let's just go through everything. <laughs> so that if there gets to a point where I need to run away very very quickly, I don't need to. Oh no! What about? Yes, even. The random containers I'm looting are That's far enough. hinting. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Okay. Hold on. That's the lad who saved us from the knolls. Let him in. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. I did. Come down then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Right, see, this is what I'm really here for. I want to know... One inspiration. That was from Astarian. The importance of networking... Talk your way into the Zentarim hideout. The Zentarim... So it's, it's basically organ, an organized crime group. Okay. Okay. Got an iron gate. I guess that's where we're going. Be cautious. Ha! Huh. So, um, <clears throat> uh, they were just hoping we would wander into that and get killed, or is it perhaps a bit of a test? Okay. Four, one, two. two. You know what? We'll easily make that as long as you don't get a one.
Okay. All right. What now? With haste. Traps are not active. Okay, well... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wasn't it? Oh, too late. I've already tried to disarm it. Oh, and the wrong person. Is there any harm in disarming them just in case they rearm them? I mean, it says disarm. I mean, I feel like, I feel like, better safe than sorry. Still alive, so that's progress. Perception failed. Would it be rude to disarm this one? As soon as he's looking right at me. You don't want to keep Zaris waiting. Believe me. Isn't that the man I claim to work for? I think it is. Yeah. Don't get comfortable. So, um, right. Watch your back. Somebody. I need only tell her it's a gambling desk. <laughs> it's happened before. Take the note. Woo! Okay, let's keep to the shadows. All right, huh? Stallion, send it over. Theft has been reported, oh, and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. Point at a Stallion and say it was him. Tr oh, I forgot, really? Try to talk your way out of the situation? I wanted to read the note. To read the notes without stealing. Yeah, you can. Good point. <sighs> Sorry, we just it was a note, we picked it up. Contrition and the return That's all it was just to put things right. I was picking up a just note. A simple misunderstanding. Totally. I mean who steals a note? Nobody steals it. Oh, it's gone now. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Just was with the note. Hmm. Okay, what have we got here? Someone complaining about a gambling debt. Bren? I, was paid to crack I have something to ask. Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Oh, pet artist. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Sounds a bit more like kidnapping, to be honest. Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats, not so much. Okay, intimidation, persuasion, gith yankee pers... Whoa. <laughs> Bardic persuasion. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. If this artist were to tragically expire, his portfolio would become finite, therefore priceless. Wait, what? That makes no sense. Isn't that convincing him to kill him? Isn't that, isn't that basically encouraging you? Hey, if he's, if he's dead... No. I see, I'm not, I'm not even going to say to him, why would I say this? Because probably to get him killed. Okay, here's my offer. Give me your slave or become mine. Knowledge. Charisma. Okay, I'm adding four, five, six, and seven, and I've got two rolls. It's a tough roll, but... Oh my god, I only just did it. No, I didn't do it. I, did I not get seven plus? Oh, I had seven. <sighs> Rolling again. Come on.
Hey, I was just looking to make a little coin. Ain't after a mess? <laughs> Take the money, bastard. If he means that much to you. That is crap would sell anyway. Right. Okay, I have no idea why we did that. Oscar Fevrus. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? <laughs> no, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of you, Bard. I'm Reginald at yours. Excellent. When will I get? Don't worry, Oscar. Didn't cost me a single. No, no. I'm Reginald at your service. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt, as is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. Okay. Our patrons dallying with their dashing artisans is tale as old as art itself. Quite. <laughs> it seems we are destined to doomed romances, are we not? I'm doing all right, mate. Offered me a future. And so, in a fit of madness, I told her of my past. Of the woman I'd loved before she found me. Love still, in truth. She was less than pleased. You don't say! I made a timely retreat into the countryside. To paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Okay. A truly horrific, horrifying dilemma. All I care is going. No, I must know how this tragic tale ends. What option did you choose? Hmm? Oh, absolutely none. Uh, um, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely, I'm going mad. No, you're not. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some... I'm sorry, I'm... I... <laughs> I'll give you a serious discomfort to deal with if you don't get along now. <sighs> I've actually got tons of money. I've got so much money, I don't know what to do with at the moment. But I feel like he's taking... I guess he's, he's got to get home and he's in a bit of trouble. But you, you know what? Sure. I'm probably being fleeced here. If, <laughs> but I'm going to. Here you go. Have a little. A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city. Truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Okay. Besides. Until Baldur's Gate, then. It annoyed a stallion. And that's always worth it in my book. We've spoken to him. Where else is there this time to press ahead? Don't be stealing the pace. some Oh we shouting at me. Are you telling me to pick up the pace? Yes, I'm supposed to go and talk to you, aren't I? Absolutely. I'm picking up the pace. Totally. This is me. I might actually miss this place. Pace picking up. Hello. You look like a bird enemy to have. Glad I won't have to find out. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, then. Let's... At some point, I'm going to annoy these people, aren't I? I mean, they kidnap people. Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Again. Good to see you. Killed any more beasts out there? Uh... Since we last met... No, I don't think so, actually. Rugen. Thanks again. Hope Zari's treated you to something nice. I haven't spoke to her yet. I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Rubble? What are you, what are you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke, right on our bloody doorstep. 
The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Right. Whoa! Complete finding the missing shipment! Uh, defending her agents are bringing back the shipment. I receive Harold! Okay. Harold is a rare crossbow. Fairly good one by the looks of things. When you deal damage to a target with a ranged weapon, it must succeed a charisma saving throw or be banned for two turns. Okay, I'm sorry, but that sounds bloody awesome. What is it? It's baned, isn't it? <laughs> Not banned. It's baned. <laughs> it would have been double N. Baned. Has a one die four penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, uh, see, I like that. I'm liking it. I'm thinking I should use this and I should give Jolt Shooter to a Starion. But then I'm also thinking I should probably give a Starion my gloves. All right, well. Accept. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, it does more damage. Plus one weapon. Oh, and it's a plus one weapon enchantment, whereas Jolt Shooter isn't. Which means I've got slightly better chance of... Oh! <gasps> and it's also very cool. Thing is, I don't need these. I don't need... Mind you, that helps me do two more damage. Send that to Astarion. What's he currently using? Well, hello. He's using... Uh, Someone there. No, he's using longbow, just plus one, six to thirteen. And it does... When the wielder deals damage using this one, they gain two. I feel like this one might be better just because of that extra thing, but it's not a plus one enchantment. Oh. Let's move. Am I not proficient with this? Oh, God. It's because it's a heavy crossbow. This doesn't give me proficiency in it. Doesn't give me proficiency in it, unfortunately. I've got proficiency in bows and hand crossbows. Good oh, damn it. Well, all right, well, that was exciting for a what second. Keep a blade close. Uh, then maybe ever. Will? Will doesn't have proficiency on that as Can't well, does he? No. Okay, that is going to be for Lazel. As soon as I've taken the spear off Lazel, and I'm going to go with sword, she should have a crossbow. That makes sense. That makes all the sense. Yes, it does. Right. I've got a long road ahead. And she said something about talking to a trader. Another step forward. Okay. The True Impossible Adventures of Tenet Brooks Morrow, Volume 4. Let's see. Okay, so the trader is the painter. And he's now buggered off. Oh, he's by the painter. Oh, right, okay, so, right. An excerpt from the True and Impossible Adventures of Tenet Brooks Morrow, a pulp serial following the real-life, quotes, exploits of an intra interplanar... Have I read this? I feel like I've read this. It is quite a feeling to fall forever. Of course, fall does not exactly describe it, nor indeed does fly. Each patch of sky in the elemental plane of air is bound by no laws but its own, rendering pretty petty attempts at direction or definition meaningless. It is exactly this ferocity, ferocious freedom that makes a plunge through the eternal blue the only way I've learned to truly relax. You seem distracted, observed Arulus, shouting to be heard over the howling wind. That the goblin could so easily pierce my inscrutable facade was no surprise to me, for she is a sage of considerable wisdom and a lifelong friend to boot. I am, I acknowledged, expertly adjusting my posture to avoid a drifting aracocra nest. Lord Primus was forewarned of my contract to infiltrate his mind palace. I have to leave my entire crew... I had to leave my entire crew on Mechanus just to escape alive. I could sense her frown beneath the bleached bone skull that eternally obscured her face. It was an affectation of her monastic order, 
and just one of the many things I had never truly understood about her. All perished? Surely the traitor was among them. Perished? Oh no, I traded them. Lord Primus wished to study mortal mannerisms, and he was most forthcoming with the identity of my betrayer in return. I reached out across the divide and slipped from her finger the ring of command. With the loss of the magical item, she instantly ceased to fly and began to fall in earnest. A subtle distinction, but an important one. Her screams were already lost to the whipping wind by the time the new bride loomed into view. I climbed aboard, weighed the ring in my palm. Its exact twin was nestled upon my own finger, forged by Arulis many months ago as a symbol of our undying friendship. Would he not, dear reader? She is my friend still, and it is my, fully my intention to return and catch her some day. Ha! <laughs> huh. Okay, then. The Approachable East. Volume 1. Great dukes and duchesses, lords and ladies, and all who seek knowledge of the world, welcome. I have travelled far, seen much, and recorded all. My odyssey began in a humble tavern, where I met a Rashemi mercenary. An approachable fellow, he offered me a tale in exchange for a drink. I accepted, and was soon wrapped as one ale became six. He told me the legends of his people, sharing their stories and culture. He told me of the lands he'd visited, from the silver marshes of Kalimshan, from the moonshy isles to the plains of purple dust. The more he spoke, the more I realized I'd never traveled farther than Beragost. I felt like a fly, spending my short life buzzing around a latrine, ignorant of everything I was missing. Well, no more. The next day, I packed a bag and set out, following the Kionthar East, or is it the Chionthar East? I would travel to Rashomon, see this magnificent world, and document it all. Good man. All right. So... Was there anything else other than... It's, it's not active, right? Hello, Vol. Very well. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay. Not a very unpleasant and unfriendly people here. Jark. And some wolves. Let's hope they will be friendlier. Had a peach of a shot on you as you came in. That was nice. Isbeth. Around and around again. Master gets confused, I think. Okay, so the... So, um... Right! <laughs> I mean... Yeah! I mean, I know these guys are up to no good. But, um... It really would be rude to just break into their storeroom to steal stuff, especially since I would almost certainly end up having to kill them all. What's that? I don't know. What? What? What's what? I. I. Oh. A burrow hole, so you could burrow in there. I mean, really, I get the feeling we're dealing with a band of thieves and smugglers here. That is what I feel we are dealing with. But, you know. Careful. No stone scent. No stone sound. Strange stone here. Okay. That could be interesting. Carad? Rip, was we wouldn't linger down here if I were you. See all that smoke powder? The flaming fist won't find nothing here but rubble. Oh, uh, so they are actually just gonna completely detonate this place. Okay. Alright. 
Well, to be honest with you, I think I've seen enough. And I just really feel like there's not a lot going on here. I got, I freed the guy who Pick apparently was kidnapped. I mean, I guess that makes them pretty much close to slavers, really. I mean, he sold me him. Okay. This wasn't the trader, right? I made a bucket of coins or the flaming fist crawling above, and the underdark waiting below. I don't know which I like less. Right, okay. Where's the trader? Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. No, what was it Brem? Is it Brem? Is he the trader? Something I can help you with. The one I threatened. I want to trade! Of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Right. Oh, okay then. Let's have a look at the... Oh, he sent everything back to the camp. Sent a lot of things back to the camp. Stadion's got that. Probably don't need it. I mean, he's never going to use it. He's using, he's using something way better. Um, what about any of this? Wizard's Bane oil. No, I've given him that for a reason. Mm, hand crossbow. I'm sort of keeping that. I don't know why. You can have a bar of soap. That's nice, isn't it? Drow poisons with a little and a bowl. Have a bowl. Have some water. I mean, everyone needs water, don't they? Will's got a rapier we're not going to use. Would you like a barrel of water? <laughs> um, all right. And what do you have, more importantly? A dagger? Giant breaker? Hmm, okay. It's not... Oh, a loot. Is it, have you got any special loot? No. What? Advantage on sleight of hand checks. No, I've got something that gives me extra damage when I shoot. Keep your distance, darling. He's got hit with a weapon, attack, possibly inflict one die four damage to the target's attack rolls. I, I feel like that might be useful if we ever find ourselves missing one of Starion. Hail of Thorns grants the wearer ability to cast Hail of Thorns. Okay. The Jolty Vest. Superior material, you take one less slashing damage. Counter shock. When the wearer takes damage while having lightning charges, the attacker must succeed a dexterity saving throw or become shocked. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Lightning charges? You mean like... If I had those. Are you saying that if I had this and that bow and I got lightning charges and then someone hit me, they would get shocked? That's a little... Mm, specific a scenario. Scale mail plus one. Ring mail. Padded armor plus one. Leather armor plus one. Lots of plus one enus. Warhammer. Titan String Bow. Titan Weapon. The weapon deals additional damage equal to your strength modifier. Oh. Surely that would be... I mean, Karlak just isn't going to need it. I mean, she's just throwing things all the time. Although, is it... Would it be better? Would she do more damage with the Titan String Bow? I don't think so, because she's actually very good at throwing. Right. Lazelle's got that uh, that uh, crossbow. But is this better? I feel like this would be better. Okay, let's just... Rupturing blade. That's a rapier. Proficiency with this weapon unlocks... Yada yada. Oh, it's, just, it's just a plus one. No, no it's not. It's got something else. Searing blood. Cut into an enemy dealing an additional hit that does fire damage. All right. It's not a terrible weapon, actually. Better than the one I've got. Morningstar. All right. What have we got here? D oh, we got dyes. Die remover. Die, die, die. Don't need dyes at the moment. 
I'm thinking. Honestly, I think I, that's what I would want from this, but I'm going to have to spend a little money. Um, You could have my rapier. Because why not? What else could I give him? I wish I'd gone back to the camp and picked up some stuff, but I didn't, so... Too late now. Carla. She... She is not. Not with that spear. She's going to be using that. All right, that gets me a little less. I am going to have to use a little bit of money. Oh, wait. Will's, Will's got a bunch of money. I'll tell you what. I'd like to keep all the money in one place. Just because then I know what I'm dealing with. Okay. Balance offer. S where's my... Still got a lot of money left. We got loads of money. What about the morning star? Where is the morning star? Where is the morning star? What have I missed? I've got a hand crossbow, but I don't have a crossbow. Oh, do you mean these? Uh, just that's not really, you know, the morning star tenacity. Okay, could be interesting. No, 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 no. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. There we go. We got a little... Pleasure. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. So I've got this now. I mean, I'm not going to do more damage with this because my... Mind you, I've got... My strength is terrible. I would actually do less damage with this, surely. That's 3 to 10. If I used this, I would do 4 to 11. I could still do slightly more damage, although I don't get the electric blood thing. Do you want rupturing blade? Looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, right. So this absolutely... I mean, it could be a will thing, I suppose. Will does not Where am I needed? have the strength either. Um. So, yeah, no. Never a dull moment. It is... Would be superb for her... I'm going to send it to her for now. Just to just have a You're look at me it. Sweat. I mean, she's going to do extra damage because of her strength modifier, but she's just going to do way more with this because she's just... I mean, really? She's just got rid of the light. Why she's got a crossbow, I do not know. Now, that's definitely for Lazel. Shadow fire sounds like a cross between Shadow Heart and then Titan Starfire. Okay. Tiger Eyes. In my humble opinion, Gloves of Thievery. Best item for Shadow Fire or Will or others to replace a Starion in all but the hardest roll situations. Ra oh, yeah. You know what? You might. It I'm going to send that to Lazel. You might be right. You know, how much were name? those gloves? Something I can help you with? Yep, you can just go straight to the trading thing. Where were they? There. They're only 102. Advantage on sleight of hand checks. I mean, to be honest, it'd be kind of useful. I mean, see, a Starion does do a little extra damage, but I don't even think those are that good. I don't even think those are that good. On a hit with a weapon attack, possibly possibly inflict one die four penalty to the target's attack rolls. It's not terrible, but hmm. Sleight of hand plus one. Oh, that gives sleight of hand plus one. This just gives advantage on sleight of hands checks. Yeah, I probably would keep these for myself, and then just in case I wanted to do something without. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it. There you go. I will keep those for myself. That way I will always have an option to... Pick something if a Starion gets uh, downed, killed, or whatever. You know, yet. if Karlak happens again. Okay, how the hell do I, I get... You Moving ahead. Out of here. Okay. Keep it up. 
Let's no, no, see don't. what this does. This was the way, right? And we we can actually assuming this place doesn't get blasted to bits, we can of course um come back here, I guess. Alright, and the way out was Let's not get turned around. There. Okay. Then, I think we're actually done in this neck of the woods. Believe it or not, yes, there is a way down here, but I'm, go I'm going to hold off on that. That's the Githyanki Crash. I'm thinking now that I should have used the portal in there. Because I want to go and see the hag, but there's a little side of me just wants to know what I've missed here now. Because I seem to have found the edge all the way around, except down here, here, and here. Yeah, you know what? We're portaling. We're portaling. We're portaling to. It is Emerald Grove Enverons, yes? Wait, have I not been in there either? What? There is something I missed there. Here. Can't get there. Oh, God. Have I got to wait for him to open the door? Please open the door. I know you're going to do the ritual and close everything off because the horrible goblins who are all dead and no longer pose a threat are... I thought for a second they were actually not going to. Really not happy with these people. Yeah, right. Did not wander up here. All right. Uh. Um, there is somebody called Nadira who has a soul coin, but it, it would be stealing. I guess no one's looking, so, you know, I mean, okay. Telescope? What's the... T t you peer through the telescope. Is that a dragon? That's a dragon. That's... A dragon. Perception. Squint at the distant object, trying to make out further details. Focus the telescope on the distant object. Trying to get a clear view. You let's focus the telescope. I'm gonna suck at this. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, that's a dragon. Red one. This is where it's You recognize the dragon as the mount of a Githyanki knight. Perhaps it had been tracking the ship. Move the telescope to the left. Yeah. The telescope points to the left. Yep, that's... Okay, move it to the right again. The telescope points straight ahead. That's where the dragon was. Move it to the right again. The telescope points to the right. All right, well then... then the telescope points straight ahead. Okay. Oh, well, that, that seems to be it, really. That's... Yeah, uh... A stallion. Careful, I mind. Could you talk to this person? I want to know what's going on. Madeira, that name seems familiar. 
The corpse remains silent. Corpse is silent. I have a lot on my mind and yeah. in it. I wonder what happened to this person. Absolute thrilling telescope gameplay. What? I Did I miss a control? The telescope points straight ahead. Did I miss a control? Did I miss a shoot? See, I'm hearing. Right. I'm hearing. The telescope points to the right. I mean, th there's no other option. I can't zoom out. The telescope points straight ahead. Okay. The telescope points to the left. Yeah, no, not getting it. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Moving in. Okay. So. Let's keep going. Not actually been here either. Really is very quiet now. Right, so the big question is how did we get over there? We needed to be here, I think. Okay, create a custom. I don't want to create a custom marker. I want to click on the map and go there. Um, there. Go! Find me the way! Let's move. How has he failed to save people? I don't think I met that person. I don't know how I failed to save. Sorry, was I supposed to save someone? No, no, nobody informed me. <laughs> well, no, someone told me to save the druid, and I failed to save the druid. That is definitely, that's definitely true. I failed to save the druid. I failed to save the man in the burning building. That is also true. Granted, that's just because I'm weak and feeble. There was a lever. What? To save the man that was in the burning building? I didn't see it. Sorry. What was that? Fishing rod. Right. I think I spoke to the bear. My gran. Hello. Nope. Doesn't want to chat. Doesn't want to chat. Save the painter. Save the poet. Saved a guy that was in the goblin thing and being tortured. Saved quite a few people. Yeah. I think I've... And then, like, like I've saved Shadowheart. I've saved pretty much... I saved... Didn't really save Karlak. But... Saved a few other bit. I think I've saved more than I've failed to save, is what I'm getting at. Secluded Grove. Okay. Whoa! Commence battle. With what? Harpies! Alright then! So! we They're all here? Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Surely we've got kind of a bit of high ground? Alright, what have they got? They're 24, 24... Uh, would it be worth doing her... Uh, the, that's a bonus action. I'm guessing this is the time where Cloud of Daggers is completely pointless. Arms of Hadar. Prevents targets from using reaction. Can you cast that on someone? Clip. Oh, you can. What does that do? What does that do again? 3 to 18 damage. Prevents targets from using reactions. Honestly, though, I feel like just that uses a spell slot. So does that. Armor of Agathis, Pact of the Blade. Uh, you can't be honest with you. Can we do that? 
you have to move a little bit? I don't know. Let's have a look. He moves into place. Where does he move there? Okay. He can do that. But if he does this, first of all, get a chance of killing it. That's an action. This is an action. All right. Are there any... We'll worry about that in a minute. Here we go. 80%. Come on. Might will prevail. Boom! All right. And what do you have? Oh, Hex was actually... How far can you cast? It's a concentration spell. Can't reach destination. <laughs> yeah, too far. Too Not enough movement. All right. You know what? Let's end there. They've got to come to us anyway. Whoa, they move quite quickly. Uh, they rolled an 18. Oh. Harpy claws on Will. Harpy needs the 13 to hit. They rolled an 18. What does this do? Target receives a 1 die 6 attack to pe uh, Okay. I'd need to get real lucky with that one. Sorry, Will. We're going to save that for an attack that's got a better chance of occurring. Okay. A stallion. So. Drow. Poison. This is a bonus action. All right. Does this, does this apply to what? All right. Does it only apply to the weapon he's currently got out? Possibly. Oh, wait. Drow poison. Co coat your active weapon with poison. All right. Let's try this. Let's try this. Yeah, let's try this. And... Boom. Okay. Did we hit? I didn't see. Oh, no, but it is, in fact. It's sleeping. All right, then. Misty step or offhand attack. Flourish or... You know what? We're going to wait on that. Oh, God, this thing hasn't taken any damage at all. All right, what else could can we do? Wizard Bane oil. Could put more... Nah, you know what? Just hit it a little bit. Yep! Hit it a little bit. And... So... I want to try this. I kind of want to try this. Okay, she needs a 13th. She rolled a 9. Okay, reckless attack. Gain advantage on attack rolls until the end of your turn, but enemies also have an advantage. Yes! Oh! 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 <laughs> That's dead. Yup! That is very dead. Nothing will stand in my way. Oh, I wanted to try that. But doesn't it, like, set them on fire as well? Possibly, if you don't. All right, let's have a look. What options do I currently have? I want to see how, if I'm any good with this. Right, I could shoot with an arrow of lightning. Or an arrow of fire. I could put simple toxin on it. That would take up my bonus action. And then... When it, where the hell are they? Have we, have we killed them all except... There's one down there, right? Let me guess. I can't hit him. Target outside normal range. I've got high ground, but i got the disadvantage. Yeah. So... I'm gonna miss. Why do I even bother? I suck. Two steps at a time. All right. Now that one's still stricken with the drow poison, so I feel like 
Oh, when it? How long will that last, though? Uh, when it? No, can I see? I probably should have read the description on the bottle, shouldn't I? All right, you know what? Doesn't matter. Oh my god, he missed! He actually missed! Can't reach destination. No? Okay. You could move closer. I can't really move that much closer. I'm on a cliff. I mean, you know. Arrow of acid or sneak attack. I don't think I can get a sneak attack on any of these guys. See, nope, gotta be right. So, I'm thinking, braced. And... Just shoot it. Climb down. No, I wanna keep the high ground. I get, go down there, get the, lose the high ground. Yeah, I'm closer, so it's easier to shoot, but I lose the high ground, so it's harder to shoot. So I'm, and then I'm gonna get vulnerable. I'm a bard. I'm gonna go rushing forward into combat, where we all know I'm gonna miss anyway. Like, <laughs> okay, so. Reckless attack, mm, frenzy, I'm thinking frenzy, I'm thinking frenzy. Because it always looks so damned awesome. Not a tough enough fight to use one of the coins, though. Right. Oh, tempted. Tempted to throw a barrel at them. But I'm not going to. Ought to do it. Oh, the only thing is, is, is I mean, am I really going to want to go all the way down there to loot them? I'm thinking probably not, but yeah. Okay, that's another fight. <laughs> Let's go. Another fight where you what will. Path lies before me. Okay, I can shoot this one. I can actually shoot this one, or I could hit him with vicious mockery. No, I can actually hit. I sh where in those moments where I can actually hit, I should take advantage of it. Knowing that I will probably miss regardless. Hey! I hit something. A stallion. Um, what's left? Just one. There. Can't prepare. No. Oh no, it's not. It's will. It's will. What am I talking? Really? Boys, even Reginald's hitting. Okay. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Reginald, the bowmaster. Yep. No, you guys are kind of, kind of, kind of blowing it. Is this harpy going to come closer? Or is he just going to stay there hissing at us? All right. Karlak, show us how it's done. It. What? I don't see it. What? what is with the camera? What is with the bloody annoying camera? Oh, my God. Okay, we can get down there, though. Right? Rib caged, polished dagger. More for me. Uh, and there were two over there. Can we get over there? These boots have seen everything. There are not more, are there? We're going the long way. We're definitely going the long way. All right. Oh, who is Mircon? Who is Mircon? That looks like a small tiefling child, doesn't it? Hmm. I mean... That's 
a bugger in there, eh? Oh, he's dragging them off. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So the only thing that was here was a ton of misery. Oh, it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? So then the next question is... Can we get over there? Well, we can head up there. We speak to the dead child, you think? It's a little morbid, isn't it? What a day. All right, let's see if we can speak to him. Can we find a wasp? No. At least things have stayed interesting. I'm just gonna have a quick save now. It's a little late, but I might carry on a while. But I need another drink. Let me guess. Another person that I was supposed to save, but didn't know. <laughs> Uh Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to get told off for that in the comments of the video, very probably. You were supposed to go there. You're not exploring because you didn't go to this specific spot at the exact moment I needed you to go there. You were supposed to go here before you went here. That's why everybody's dead. And you should have known you were supposed to go here because that's how you explore. You go to the places that you're supposed to go to. Or words to those effect. I will be back in a second. <laughs>
Oh, I'm back. Wow, it is warm in this room. Found these mistakes pretty in line with the character as well. He is gif, and even if he tries to be ungif like and a good helping bard, he is both not a saviour type or in sync with the locals. I think I'm pretty much a saviour type. As to being in sync with the locals, I don't think that's because he's not a... It's because he's a gif. It's because I'm not in sync with the locals. Why would I be? <laughs> Worse, he found it, he digged it out, but he didn't loot it. What? Oh, did, did I... Did I not loot the chest back there? Did I not loot the chest back there? I'll, I'll do that in a second. The, back at the inn! Oh, no, I think I remember that, actually. I think I remembered looting it and thinking, oh, I'm going to loot that. And then something came up and I started doing something. I think it's one of... I think it's one of those cases where, like, norm if you're normally playing, you see the loot, you loot the loot, no matter what's going on, right? And if I'm playing normally and I'm not talking, I see loot, I loot it. I could be mid-battle... Um, <laughs> I could be sliding down a mountain, a passage chest, you loot it, right? When you're talking or you're doing, or you're in a thought process, it, like, the chest is dead now. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's probably just a bunch of crap. Um, yeah, so you, you, you tend to do things a little more, well, in a way that makes sense, so... If you're, if you're in the middle of talking or you've got a thought process going on, You'll focus on that instead of whatever it is your fingers are automatically doing, so, you know. Accidentally made one of my characters ple please look like a vault suit after dying it. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I know you're not serious. I know you're just making fun. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's only like a little... It was one of the tests. Chests you dig up some random loot. Um, uh, but yeah... Is your playstyle very different when you play by yourself? Well, yes, but it's not a deliberate thing exactly. It's not a deliberate thing. Um, although semi, right? For example, obviously I move the camera very differently when I'm by myself. At least in normal games. This one's hard, because this one's, you know... In this one, you know, like, like if I was like doing this all the time, you guys would get very, very nauseous very, very quickly. So I do try to keep things slower, but this is especially true when I'm playing first-person games. Um, I try to move in, in a way that's just completely unnatural for a gamer. Um, and that does take kind of a lot of your brain, believe it or not. You're, you're, you're focusing on, on controlling the movement smoothly rather, you know, and not just flicking around like a maniac. Um, but also, you, when you're verbalizing it, when you are speaking out loud, when you are, like, living in that moment, you do tend to prevent yourself from dropping into gamer mode as often. So, for example, if I'm playing a game normally, I will be in the game, and I will be in the conversation, and I'll be in the fight, but then a body will drop, and you'll loot it, and you'll loot it, and you, you don't break the internal narrative, do you? Someone says, follow me, I shall take you to the king, and you're like, yeah, no problem, and all the way, you're looting every single bloody container. Somehow, your brain doesn't knock you out of the narrative, right? But in a let's play, it feels weird. I can't explain it any more than that. Probably because it would look weird, right? It would just look weird. Follow me, I shall show you the king. Yeah, I've just got to nip down there, down that passage. I'm handing in a 
quest I got earlier, and I want to do some crafting. <laughs> you know, I'll rejoin you in 10 seconds, knowing, well, in 10 minutes, actually, knowing you will have just hung in that corridor for the entire 10 minutes. It feels weird and looks weird, but you kind of, so your brain changes when you verbalize, when you sort of, you know, when you treat a character in the game as real, you talk to them very, very deliberately, it has an impact on the way you behave. So it's not deliberate exactly, but I will find myself playing games and I'm like, I've got to go, I've got to go there. Oh, I need to follow this or I've got to do this objective. But oh my God, there's a little gamer instinct going, no, loot. You got to stop. Loot! Um, it's, I mean, I, I do now try, as a general rule, to focus on an objective when I go on a mission, and then loot on my way out. Which is why I always giggle when people say, oh my god, you missed the chest. Because <laughs> chances are I didn't. Chances are on the way out, I just, I went through the place with a fine tooth comb. Um, but yeah, so you, you, you have to beat down some of those gamer instincts when doing Let's Plays. Um, you're not a gamer, you're a movie director. Yes! Yes, he said my name. You missed the chest. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. So it is, it's, it's, it's different. I do play differently, but it's not, it's partly a conscious choice, but it's also partly because it, it just, you can't, behave the same way when you verbalize things that would break the narrative. So yeah. Um But in but in this particular case I can't even remember I, I do remember digging up a chest and thinking I shall loot that and then other thought process. But again, you are so much more likely to be having other thought processes when let's play and or streaming. There's a reason for this, though. It's because you feel this constant need to express your actions. You know, like in Cyberpunk, I climb into the car and I'll be like, right, I have got to go and pick up that item. Then I got the map and I'll, it's over here. But on the way, I'm going to stop off here and here to do these things. You don't do that when you play. You don't need to explain to anyone the thought process. So you've got all of your mental energy focused on, right, open map, click the objective, make sure you've got that one done, etc., etc. Making sure you've got everything done. Whereas what I'm doing is I'm climbing into the car and I'm explaining the plan. And I might actually just miss something that I should have been doing, was thinking of doing when I climbed in the car or something, because I'm now verbalizing my thought process. And you do that non-stop while Let's Playing. So, and uh, it's, Quantico says it, streaming is a performance and while fun is just as exhausting. It, it really is, it, I can't explain it. When I play games for myself, I call it you know, switch brain off kind of playing. Oh, it's a relief. It's a relaxing thing to do. Just, oh. And I never miss a single thing, I can tell you now. When I don't record myself, I find every single chest, I get every bit of loot, I save every single person, and I miss absolutely nothing. And yes, I'm sort of joking, because I probably don't, but I wouldn't realise it because I'm not recording and no one's there to point it out to me. <laughs> Actually, I do think I probably miss less when playing for myself and when recording, but again, wouldn't know. Because before I started Let's Play and I didn't think I missed that much. <sighs> Propaganda is a British term for having a closer look. Prop ah! <laughs> for a second I was about to say, no it's not, and then I said it in my head out loud. <laughs> Having a propaganda at it. <laughs> like it. Like it. Um, which is how most gamers think. I never miss anything, of course. I think most people don't realise what they miss. 
Um, until they see someone get find something they didn't find, and they go, oh, crap, I didn't even know that was there. So, yeah. But in this particular case, I think I actually remember um, digging up the chest and thinking, I shall loot that. You know, like memo to self, loot that. Whereas if I'd have been just playing for myself, I would have just looted it. God knows what I was thinking at the time. Mm. I mean, logically, how would you know that you missed something? That's like the whole point of missing things. I think it's just generally sensible to assume you probably did miss things. Lies. I find everything. I am a true follower of the loot gods. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are ways to miss less. Um, you know, you, you can very much come up with a system to avoid missing things. But I find when I do that, I do not get as invested in the game. I'm, I'm invested in a system. I'm invested in a mechanic, not in a narrative. It's why, as a general rule, first playthroughs, I just sort of bimble around and see where things take me. I mean, people say you don't explore. That's just simply wrong. I explore tons. I just don't have a system for exploring. I don't, I don't have a way of exploring. I don't have a, a timetable or a routine. I will get everywhere eventually. I just possibly won't get there in the correct order and timing. Um, on another playthrough, I will probably craft a character, craft an idea in my head um, that will let me do all the things I want to do as well. That's the other thing. Clockwise or counterclockwise search. I mean, to some degree, I still do that even in my Let's Plays. And I do have a tendency of, if, I'm got, if I've got to go somewhere, if I know an objective is somewhere, I want to make sure there's nothing uh, hiding the other direction. And very much that is often a contrived excuse to just check what the hell's there, because I'm curious. Um... That is very good. This game, luckily, does not punish out of order too much. And apparently it does. Apparently I failed to save a lot of people because I didn't come here at the right time. So, you might be surprised at some games doing this. You rarely do a second playthrough, so I scour the whole map. Well, I tend to scour whole maps on second playthroughs. Although, I always feel like first playthroughs attend, attend, end up scouring most of the map anyway just you only have to look at our divinity original sin playthroughs we scoured every bloody inch of the place eventually there was no system um but at the other side the other side of me is i'm i'm i don't think i'm as worried about missing things as some people are now you know if you if you look at any of my playthroughs where i've only ever done one playthrough and say oh well you've missed you missed 10, 15% of the content. I'm, like, perfectly happy with that. As long as I got a fulfilling experience on that playthrough I had. I don't feel like you have to see everything a game has to offer to get your money's worth out of that game. And I also think some people perhaps focus so much on seeing all the content that they don't truly experience any of the content. So, sometimes you shouldn't, you shouldn't be determined to not miss a thing if that determination causes you to actually miss the most important thing. Tiger Eyes! Thank you for the $5 super chat. Teasing aside, I love your first playthrough live stream so much in what is done right and missed. Selena Sora, thank you for the £20 super chat. Thank you. I like this kind of playthrough since constant min-maxing is stressful and not very fun for me. So miss things, kill things. I think it makes it a fun experience. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I mean, don't get me wrong, though. Having a good min-max every now and again to try things out. Love it. I did that a load in Cyberpunk. Played through Cyberpunk, try, you know, stuck with the narrative. 
and then did like five playthroughs, six playthroughs, where I was just trying different builds. And I'll still do more, because I, I, you know, I've got a lot to test on, and you know, min-max, try this, try that, because I'm a natural experimenter. Even on first playthroughs, I will tend to try and experiment lots of different aspects of um, what can be done. But then on later playthroughs, I might really go in depth. So I, lo I, do I don't dismiss that as a fun thing to do as well. It's just for my, for my first playthroughs on narrative games. I, I just want to go where, where the winds take me. I, I hold up Red Dead Redemption 2 as the example of why. There is a game where I did exactly that. I did not have a system. I did not deliberately, artificially, you know, explore the map. And yet I went everywhere in that game. Oh, God, I'm missing Red Dead Redemption 2 again. Ooh. Okay. Have my coffee. We're well, not coffee. It's de total decaf. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, I did loot that. I looted that. Right. So, we need to get back. I have to keep going. Go up here. It's a beautiful area, though. Right. Oh, hello. So... I have no idea if there's anything over there. Oh, no, no, I don't need... I don't need the psionics jump, do I? What was the key for jump again? Zed. I took it off the hotkeys because I felt like I really didn't need it. Because I'd remember the key and then... promptly... Forgot the key. Survival failed. You guys, come up here. What's that? That's a dirt mound! With a chest that I shall attempt. Do not forget to loot by going. Oh, look! It's a waterfall. There's always stuff behind a waterfall, you know? There's not stuff behind a waterfall, is there? I can't see any. And yes, I am trying to wind you up to make you think. No, he's actually going to forget to loot it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Right. Okay. Can I just jump? No, I've got. I've got to do. I've got to do the jumping all the way back. All right. Come on, guys. Following the leader. Feel a bit um presumptuous calling myself their leader, but I suppose I am. Well, they seem to go wherever I tell them to go. So I guess that's. Pretty much the definition. All right, and I think we're back to where it all happened. All right, well then, in which case, I think we're done here. I have, there's a big, pile of black here. No, I'm not done. Can I go down there? Can we go down here? Is it possible to go down there? I'm at the sacred pool. Where am I heading? Is it possible to go down there? It, it is. It is. No, we're not done. We're not done. There's... See... Should I have gone there? I jumped across the... Should I have gone there? Or did I go there? Will I regret not going there? Hey! Hello! 
He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Who are you looking for? Master. He left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. Weaponed two legs. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones. And I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. He'll be back. He looks strong. Why not go after him? I'm sure he'll be back. Out of curiosity, why don't you go after him? No. The woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately. And I was never the strong one. No. Okay. No, no. Okay. Just come here. Come Still here. nothing. Who is it? Still nothing. Oh. Hmm. Is it the druid? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, he's not coming back. He, um, gave up. Unfortunately. Right. Do I want to go over there? Can I? Okay, we can. I'll oh, stop showing off. It's okay. You can keep showing. I've been here. I know I've not been here. I'm not. Inside? Not been here. Wizard's Bane oil. You know what? Can we get there? Is there any point to getting there? No. Okay. I think we've. Or have we? All right, no. Don't think so. Okay. All right, so now, now we need to go back. All right. Then, unless... <sighs> there wasn't any way to get to this area, was there? No, I don't... It's, it, I feel like there's something there, though. I feel like there's something there, but... Okay, you know what? Right. I'm being very silly now. Me no. I spoken to that person. I don't remember anyone with a head like that. Never did speak to the sleeping bear, did I? Don't feel like I want to either. Oh, it's the bird! It's the bird! Where the hell am I? Where the hell have I gone? Blood. No, never mind. Why am I obsessed with blood? Okay, I did try and click on him to speak to him, but I don't think I need to. So let's. How do we get out of here again? Where was the get out of here direction? It was up some stairs over there, wasn't it? Idol of Sylvanus. Let's not steal it. Tehan. You think you saved us? You just prolonged the inevitable. Sooner or later, other outsiders will bring trouble to the grove. I don't think I saved you. I killed the goblins to save the tieflings. I think you guys have condemned yourselves oh, by basically being isolationists, turning away people who needed your help. I really do think you've condemned yourselves. But, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about that. Was it this way? I think so. Right. So, then it's the hag. Good night, tiger eyes. Some of the druids are really insufferable. Yes. 
<laughs> Very much so. Right. Wait, 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 what do you mean I can't go there? Go oh, the door wasn't open yet. Right. So, you guys haven't even cleared up the dead. I'd give up. I r couldn't get there. Probably couldn't get there. Sunlit wetlands. That's where we're going. So we're going to the blighted village. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city parts. <laughs> upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you if we survive this bug's banquet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchal looks like. Patriarchal. Should that mean something to me? I feel like she's saying something, but saying something wrong. Alright. We need to head south. Posh toilet. Yeah. Sue, so, these bodies are just going to hang around here. Can't remember how to get to this place. I really do hope I don't run into those two. Was it here? I think it was. It was down here, and we could jump across. I think there's a bridge there as well. As no. Okay, let's just keep. Well, there's the blood. I'm guessing that's where we fought. Okay, yes, but you... Roughing it, I see. <laughs> you noticed that, haven't you? <laughs> Wallowing in filth is for pigs and children, my dear. Pigs, children, and people with a little bit of grit. Oh, I love her! I love her! Keep annoying him! Just keep at it. Keep annoying him! Oh, loving note. He's got his measure. Doesn't find him remotely charming. Okay, wicker basket and loving mode. Okay, we had a lot of perception fails there. Oh. Yeah, we go. He's fine. He doesn't. Come on. Is anyone going to perceive something? Nope. Ahead. Totally not. We are, like, so not perceiving anything. Right. Inroads by arms dealer. Oh, I read that. Read that. Read that. Loving note. Take a breather, lovelies. Have a bite on me, Auntie E. She's a hag. She's leaving apples for people. Did I just send poisoned apples back to our camp? Are we going to fall asleep for a hundred years? Will we still have the Mind Flayer tadpoles when we wake up? Am I being bigoted against witches? Anything of use? Uh, yeah, they're poisoned. I sent poisoned apples back to the uh, to the to the camp. I need to uh, absolutely, uh, definitely, 100% go back to the camp and check. Okay, so the hag's definitely, definitely evil. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Okay. Animal handling. <laughs> no, don't be mean to the, to the bar bar sheep. Drop your eyes and carefully reach out. Oh, God. Yeah, not going to do well here. Not going to do well here. This is not going to go well. 
<laughs> oh my god, it went well. <laughs> smell of rot assaults your senses as the illusion vanishes. Okay! Right. A diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. He seems unaware that his illusion has failed. Oh, awesome. Take a deep breath and say bah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Where are you going? 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 <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? He doesn't think he's a. You're not a sheep. I know you're not a sheep. Do you know you're not a sheep? Nosy, scum sucking, lice written little ball bag. Get out! Or I bite tongue. Eat tongue. Oh, delicious tongue. We're not leaving. Ha! <laughs> I bleed ya. Touch ya. Make many delicious holes. Yes. Yes! I suggest. Oh, really? You're actually. You're really? Really? Oh, wow. Okay, really. They're actually... Okay. See, this is why you shouldn't just assume everyone's a diminutive little thing. Uh, okay, where are they all? There's only one of them. Why? Okay, I am very confused. Examine. He's wet. He's in difficult terrain, deep water, and he's wet. Can we freeze him? Uh, question. Do you have freeze arrows? Answer, no. I'll tell you what you do, have you an acid arrow? I'm gonna shoot with an acid arrow? I think that would be funny. Unless he saves. I don't want to go. I, 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 Astarian definitely doesn't want to go wading through there, so I, I think. Oh. We'll do it my way. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. Oh no, there are more over there. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Uh, right. I think I will, I will just step behind these two. And then I will... I can... Do very little, really. I mean, but they are tough. I feel like I need to try and do something on them. You really do. Is the one coming? No, all right. Let's go with this one. Needs 14 to save, they rolled 19. Cutting words. Right, but, like, like, it's bardic inspiration, but, like, I would need... To be honest with you, I'm going to use it, you know why? Because I'd like to just get something working on these guys every now and again. It would just be nice. It would be nice to actually be useful this is in time. combat. Okay. Make them go through the bad terrain. Okay. And oh hex. Can he do that? No oh god, he's gotta he's gotta it's gotta be He really can only do it to people that are very, very close to him. So not a great idea. Okay, let's I wonder whether to keep him here so that he can intercept this guy. Yes, let's do that. Oh, oh, oh. Blood loss. Okay, we got a caster. We got a caster. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the bonus action is the soul coin. 
I feel like this is going to be a tough fight, you see, so... Oh, if this one comes close, I could throw! But you know what? I kind of... Oh, path is interrupted. Really? I feel like I want to end him. What happens if... It doesn't tell me where she can move, where she'd actually have a shot. If she did this... She can shoot, she can shoot with that, but can't throw. Path is interrupted. What is it being interrupted by? It's this stump. All right, so she needs to move. She needs to move. If only she had the Titan's boat. Yeah, she's just better at throwing. She's got um, a talent to throw in, so... Oh, and this guy's actually... Oh! Baby! <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> Don't giggle. Don't laugh. <laughs> Uh, now, he can't backstab. Oh, he can. How can he backstab him? Is it because he's got people around him? I think it's because of people around him. Let me, let me just... Threatened. Is that because he's threatened? Ah. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we should probably have done the bite first. All things considered. This isn't good. Wait, wait. Whoa! Will is in like serious! Oh, okay. Will? Like, I got, gotta make sure he stays up. That's the problem. He goes down? Okay, let's have a look. 28, 30. My sleep can't get those guys. Oh. Okay, honestly. I need... He gets a bit of a bonus from me. He gets the... The bless, so he gets extra on his attack roll, so it is sort of use useful anyway. Let's have a look. Oh. Searing blood. 60%. Okay. What chance does he have to shooting? Less. Okay. 28, 30. Okay, you know what? Let's this. Oh! I'm doing stuff! Oh! Key! For holding back. Yeah, although I gotta be honest with you, I think right now, um. The bonus action. Oh, uh, oh, uh, actually, you know what? Right, so... Oh, his concentration thing went. So he could do his bonus action on this and probably kill it. Mind you. Mm, no, no, he's not very good at that. Probably best doing this. Just make sure this guy dies. Oh, God. Yes. yes. Oh. Does it... it didn't do any. Or did it do so little? Oh, God. Right, because I was actually... Either Blade Ward, which is a cantrip, or... Oh, God, this uses a spell slot, even though it was a... Even though it's a bloody... Act, um, bonus action... I wanted to use 
this? I thought that was a bone. I thought that was... Uh, oh, God, it's not a cantrip. Okay. All right, well, you know what, then? Guess we'll just... Get him dead. Get him dead. Should have used the hex on him, then. Blast him. Use the hex on him. Totally fluffed that. Totally fluffed that. Uh, another one coming, but... Wait. Frenzy strike. And... Wait, can I, can I... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so... So I, I, I can't... I can't throw him into his friend, but I could throw him on his backside. Can I? That's throwing him, right? I think. There's nothing impressive I can throw him into, unfortunately. I just want to see it. Can I not throw him, like, against this post so he takes damage? I'm going to try. It's not letting me. No. All right, well, fine. Let's throw him over there then. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that was a bonus action, wasn't it? Oh. Uh. Easy. Oh, you got skewered. Ah. <laughs> uh. He's still alive, though. You gotta give him that. Gotta give him that. Oh, wait. Must have advantage. Now they see me. I love the fact they could shoot around me. Okay. And they will know a bit. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Uh, this is, oh, um, will he survive? Probably. Listen. Come on. Uh, what's your father on <gasps> yes, it worked. So he's, vicious mockery. He's now got disadvantage on his next attack roll. I'm helping. Okay. Does she have the right ring on? Uh, we talking about... Oh, God, I hope so. We're talking about Carla. It's go time. Ring of flinging. <laughs> yup. She has it on. Path is interrupted. All right, of course. Oh, and I thought... No, no. I thought maybe I want would need a soul coin. Huh. Never a dull moment. Oh yeah, I tell you what though. We've used all our short rests at this point, you know. Oh, take the edge off. Got a long road ahead. Oh. Okay. Red cap. Audible little thing. Wisp weed. So, yeah. Hag What's hiding here? is a proper old hag. No, 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 don't. Find a way forward. Oh, yeah, no, you can go up there. You can go up there. You can go up there. And, oh, I'll take that. Scroll of hold person? Oh. I think Gale has already got that, so I'll keep that and that. I think he can cast that, so. Still alive. So that's progress. Uh. No traps, please. Okay, this. Death. Nice. Is there anything over here? No, you know what? Before you do, before you do, because everyone's going to. What did I. 
I'm going back. What? We're bleeding. We went into a trap. We. Oh my God. We're. 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 We're bleeding. Poison apple. Yeah. No. We're bleeding. We're actually bleeding. Does any of this stop bleeding? No. Oh, for the love of just. Okay. So at least I've now looted everything. Everyone in the party being so bad at perception checks. It, who? Who? I would have thought Astarian was. Isn't? Isn't he our? I mean, what? What is perception? Is? Is it's intelligence? Memory and mental powers. Wisdom. Senses and intuition. It's wisdom. So we need wisdom. And do none of us actually have any? I mean, how delicious! No one back home will ever believe this. Shadow Heart? We should have Shadow Heart with us, shouldn't we? We're wandering around a swamp like this. We should have Shadow Heart. We're wandering around a swamp. I honestly think, considering how rotting, he's he's diseased. I, how do I, how do I get, do I have anything to get rid of diseases? Oh, okay. On my way. Let's just go and check over here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. Bleeding while in a swamp, not healthy. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm thinking, um... I'm, I'm thinking maybe we should bring Shadowheart with us instead of... Will. Okay. I mean, I like Will, though. He's got some really good spells. Right, Gale. First in my heart. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Well, we've given you several, so you can have one. Persuasion. Can't help but now bear with me. Give no give 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 him an item. Um Will Stardian. Carlac Shadowheart. Those what Oh! The items I've given to him. Okay, that's not being used by anyone. Neither's that. So I've given these to him. This is equipped by me. It was the water sparkers. Electrify water. When the wearer, wearer stands in water during combat, it becomes electrified. Honestly, I'm not a thousand percent sure. Is the, are they good boots? Is this one of these things if these boots with the right armor and the right person could be absolutely devastating? The Null Club. Yeah, that seems like a total piece of crap, actually, doesn't it? He's actually wearing those, anyway. Maybe something green. Well, to be honest with you, the green things look... Mildly more useful. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hold of these. But th is there any time I'm gonna want? Th this just looks like such a dumb thing to do. I think I'm just gonna give him this one because of all of the items I've got, it's the one that's possibly the least useful. Paladin gloves. Well, I put them in the chest. I'm keeping hold of those. Club is your favorite weapon. Well, the spider step boots, immune to being webbed. Focus stripe, you can cast a spell that requires concentration. You gain momentum for one turn. What's these? No one's using these. Saloon's dream. Oh. 
to be honest with you, you're not that wrong. This is just like an emergency heal, which I keep forgetting to use. But at least it is actually vaguely useful. I'm just going to let him have that one. Isn't that, isn't that enough? Thank you. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. What? Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Okay. There's no need. I trust you, girl. Go on, you're among friends. No, 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 no. You're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. Probably you have not. to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Are you bragging? Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Bold. Few would dare to reduce a goddess to their mute. <laughs> ah! I'm going to judge him for making the muse? He shagged a goddess. Oh, yes. <laughs> we enjoyed each other's company. Good man. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface. What the hell is that in the background? Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Who uh, were? Yeah, let me guess. Didn't say yes, didn't like that. How exactly did you try and cross? You thought you knew better than Mistra. You're more fool than I thought. I'm not judging him. How exactly did you try to cross these boundaries? I'm not going to applaud him either. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Oh, that must have been attractive. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Ooh, I'm a bard. Tell all. All. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tone in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, oh god, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Okay, that's not so bad. I thought you were, oh, I'm gonna use that to gain power, but you were, okay, you're just trying to impress your lady. I guess you've ruled out flowers and chocolates. <laughs> You know me. 
My gestures can never be grand enough. <laughs> oh. Certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Okay. Yankee hand away. Gods, why show me? How are you still alive? All this time I've been traveling with the monster. What? How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. Okay. What well, explains the this nether well, why you blight? This orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. Okay. Not in a good way. magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Ah. I trusted you girl, you should have told me right away. This again is not the sort of thing you Hi, we just met. I am a bomb. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? I'm sure he did. I'm sure he's very worried about it. So, the question is, what can we do? There's gotta be something we can do. My chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner? We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. What? No. Say the word, and we'll part ways. What? Wait, what are you talking about? I, I'm a Githyanki bard. Wait, have you met the people that we're traveling with? We've all got tad balls in our heads. Speak sense, man. That is. A great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. I didn't actually truly are a soul that steals have any own. options. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. No. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Come on. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. I don't feel like I really had a choice, but I was going to say, of course you can stay. We're going to find a cure for it. Are you kidding me? We are going to find a cure for it. Right. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I'm... Th Ooh. You know, I'm not Lazelle at the moment. I, I just... You no, know, it was Shadowheart. We really could do with someone that's got an ounce of perception on them. We really could. Sir Gale's been walking around this whole time with some sort of magic bomb in his chest. Ah. I'm not normally one to begrudge someone their secrets, oh. but that's something I should know. I'm sorry. Uh, no, okay. I want you to join me, but I'm I'm sorry. I, you're 
you're judging him for having a secret. I mean, it's a big one. I'll grant you. But really? I mean... Okay. Anyway, I'd like you to join me. A bit crowded. Yes. Don't you think? Uh, You'll need to swap out someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Will. Will. You can take Will's place for now. Lead the way, then. Absolutely. Also, let's just... She... Let's get on with it. Oh. Will Will... He'll heal while he's here. Right. Uh, speedy reply. Let's have a look. Okay, that looks kind of cool on you. That definitely looks kind of cool on you. Three to eight. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in fairy fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. All right. Or this one. When the wielder hits an enemy, they gain momentum. Eh, I don't know which is better, actually. I also sent you scale armor. That is slightly better than the one you've got. <sighs> Just doesn't look... Why is Will failing a saving throw against Spike Trap? Why is Will... Oh. Oh, and she's not proficient with that, so that's not even a thing, then. Two to seven? When it wanted this have. Death's promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll. Oh, you know what? I, I just like her with spears. Just the armor doesn't look... The chain shirt is not as good as the scale. But it looks so much better. It's not that that looks terrible. It's just... I'm sorry, I just, I know it shouldn't be important, but it is. Right, right. let's have a what look. Now? What? Right, we got a book. Where am I putting? No. My life among the conquering host. Why do you have that? An excerpt from Volo's forthcoming guide to goblin society. My life among the conquering host. I read this? It has often been noted that goblins are cowardly, tending to flee from robust challenges and scattering far and wide if their leaders are felled. I tell you that it is not always so. The goblins of my recent acquaintance, fine though uncouth fellows by and large, have a fiery courage, fueled by the love of the absolute. From the mighty magic-wielding Booyag to the lowly muck-troubling Pariah, they seem more willing to fight, and indeed to die, for this new god than even the most stalwart devotee of Helm or Tempus. So far I have been unable to discover the domain or providence of this emboldening deity, but with every hour that passes I come closer to the truth of the matter, for now know this. Priests and trusted devotees of this god, even be they goblins, are capable of wielding more powerful magics than ever I can conjure. I'm inspired. Excellent. Right there. Uh, and I sent that to you for possible use, but we're going to keep it now. So. All right. So, question. Can Gale not use these? Uh, apparently, Gale cannot use any of these. All right. So those cannot be consumed. It actually tells you if he can consume them. And Harold is not going to be the weapon for Lazelle because she's going to be using the Titan String Bow. So who the hell gets to use Harold? Shadowheart? My faith protects me. Yes, she can use crossbows. Can she use... No. She can't use the heavy crossbow, unfortunately. Shame. I'm going to keep it in the camp. I'm going to no keep it. I don't want to throw it away. I will put it in the... 
That's, that's for books. I will, yes, I will, I will put this in the chest of, don't throw these things away because we might want them. Uh, same with that. And then the books can all go in the chest of very bookness. And everything else can get... Oh, no. No, no, no. We got, we got a load of... Oh, where are the poisoned apples? Camp supplies? Those are poisoned. Um... Can I pick up and add to wares? Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's just drag everything down that looks like it should be... That's in there. I've got a journal. Yep, yep, yep. The mortal view. Where do these keep bloody coming? Where do all these books keep coming from? I'm, I'm sticking. Oh, the swapping. It's, it's not full, is it? No, I have to. I have to. I'm better off actually having it closed, aren't I? I'm better off having it closed so I can do that. All right, that's the camp supplies. That's my wares bag. So we'll put that in there for now. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, all of these are... Grey tax plus one as well. Wait, no. Somebody is using a non... Magic Grey Axe. Alright, all of this can be wares. Actually, rather than add it to the bag, why don't I just add it, pick it up and add to wares? And then... Can't pick up and add to wares. Too heavy. Really? Okay. I will keep that here for now. Right, that's my camp supplies. Why are we using this helmet rather than giving that one to Shadowheart? Because the one she's got is actually better. I don't know what that candle does. Really don't. Where am I leaving crafting materials? Here. Assuming they're useful for something. It's a big assumption, but... Alright, and then... All of these supplies... And go in the camp thing, and then all this stuff. Can't pick up an ad to where it's too heavy. All right. Wait, why am I... Sometimes, the... Sometimes I get a little... So I can't pick up these and add them, because I am too damned weak. All right, let's just go along let's to Volo. I should talk to everyone about this new revelation. As soon as I've spoken to Volo and Something's hopefully on sold some crap. Come on! Walking so slowly. Ah, my good fellow. Yes. Quite, quite the cosy setup you have here. Could, do you mind if I... I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. There's nothing new to speak to you about. Nope. Nope, there's definitely not. Right. Uh, do you have money now? Yes, you do. Add wares to offer? Right, what else do you have? Do... Suspicious poison? No. You've got... Actually, I'm not really running out of... Thieves' tools. All right. And I think everything else we could just leave. This... All right, let's balance the offer. Wait. Actually, you know what? Uh, just get rid of that now. I'm, I've got a polished dagger that I don't think I need. You can have that. Uh, right, now balance the offer. Okay. So that's me a little bit lighter. I'll sell the rest of the wares another time. Right now, I want to talk to Astarian. 
To think. Gales had this devastating war within himself the entire time. And only just mentioned it. Who'd keep a secret like that from his friends? He can't trust anyone these days. I'm just utterly speechless at the lot of you. Like... I can't even tell if you're being sarcastic yes, there. Jane. Speak. What, you don't want to shout about... the bomb? God, you are so growing on me! Honestly, I'm tempted to leave a stallion behind and just bring you with me. Really? Not judging. Loving this side of you. Will. Well met. No, you're not going to judge. That's good, that's good, that's good. Gail? Well, you obviously are not going to have an opinion on it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. If you ever... Oh. If you ever feel the Netherese magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. <laughs> if worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Okay, I was wondering about the mighty lord you told me about earlier in your story. I was also wondering ah, about... Oh, yes. I keep meaning to check out what the hell's Carsus. this. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavoured to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realise what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Right. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell, Mistral was reborn Pun as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Eh. Uh, he did it for power, you did it for love, and you know what? I'm a bard. <laughs> I got a soft spot for that. Anyway, yeah, so, oh, fine, okay, right, so, what was I thinking? Out of curiosity, what spells do I actually have access to? I mean, I can't remember. I cannot remember what spells I, as a bard, had access to. I guess the only way for me to find out is to actually... Can I check before I let him do his thing on me? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection? instead.
Ooh, at level five, I can replace Phantasmal Force. I can replace spells? Oh, I can only replace one at a time, can't I? Can you help me change my class? I don't want to change my class. You can only check on level up. Okay. All right, well, you know what? Because the thing is, it probably... I, I'm going to want... Featherfall, I'm going to want Speak with Animals, I'm going to want Long Strider, and I'm going to want Healing Word. I'm going to want Detect Thoughts, Friendship, and I gotta be honest, I don't think I'm going to get Vicious Mockery as well. Light! I took Light, and I never use it! Why do I not do this? Why? That would actually be useful. That's what I'm looking for, useful things. Useful things that I can use. I mean, really, all I want, it would either be sleep or phantasmal force. And sleep is actually vaguely useful. I think I'd just like to replace phantasmal force with anything. And I will have that as soon as I get to the next level. I'll have that option, right? And I don't think I'm with that. Look at the two, look. Do you know what? I can, I can, I can tough it out. I could go the distance, although I think we're... I really want to take Lazelle out with me. Really want to take Lazelle out with me. No, we're heading into the witch. You know what? I'm. I'm. Just, just got to give Astarion a chance to hate me even more. I guess. Um. Yeah, because otherwise I'm going to end up with a lot of. Well, Lazelle's melee. She's not melee, she's throw. But basically, I'm going to have a, a lot of physical damage. And Shadowheart does have... Time to dally. Um, her spells. She has quite useful spells, actually. Bless, for example. Yeah. Vicious Mockery will get better as I level. I, it doesn't matter as well. I just love that one. I'm keeping Vicious Mockery. Um, she should sub in for Karlak. I get it. I do. I'm hearing you when you say that. I am. I'm just. Wanna dance? I, 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 I just, just durable. She's got one spell slot open. Hmm. Oh, she does. Ah, and it's a... Uh, does it matter what level it is? Then what should she get? Enhance ability. Spell is not prepared. Bestow a magical enhancement upon an ally. They gain advantage on ability checks. Can that be done during dialogue and things? That! Can, can bards get enhance ability? Could bards get enhanced ability? Oh! I'm getting that! I'm getting that! That's what I need in my life! That is what I need in my life! Lesser restoration. Cure disease. Oh, okay, ready. Right. She's got healing ward, which is a neat. Right, that's a big heal. That's a little heal. But it's also... This is the bonus action. It's level one. Does it matter how many... Right, she only gets three of these, so it's... Maybe just ditch cure wounds? No, wait. They're both level one. That's level one... Ev that's level one evocation. It's just one uses an action, one uses a bonus. Ah. But they both still use a level one action slot, so honestly, you're better off using this one, even though it takes an action. Use it after combat. And how about lesser restoration? Because I feel like that might be useful occasionally. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What else has she got? Prayer of Healing. Heals all allies you can see. Can only be used outside of combat. This is kind of like a... another short rest. 
protection from poison. All right, let me have a look at this. Guiding Bolt is her damage spell. Shield of Faith. Okay, gives her extra armor. Probably worth it. Bless seems really good. Enhance ability, definitely for now. Lesser restoration. Cure a disease, poison, blindness. Oh! She's already learned that one. Silence. Soundproof sphere. That's, yeah. Warding bond, spiritual weapon. 5 to 12. Summon a floating spectral weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. Hello? Oh, Shield of Faith would... Yeah, concentration on Bless. Nope, yep, right. Warding Bond? Ward an ally. They gain resistance to all damage and plus one to their armor. All right. Each time the warded creature takes damage, the spellcaster takes the same amount of damage. No, that looks bad. Calm emotions, hold person, blindness, aid. Five, healing. Heals your allies and increase their hit point max by five points. Well, that seems a little... Okay. Like... Oh. That spell... There's quite a bit of damage. Bane. Up to three creatures receive. Yeah, okay. Bless, we got. Command! Create or destroy water. Could this be useful against fire? Like... Sanctuary is a good spell. Yeah, you are an ally. Cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. You can still take damage from area of spell. Oh, so this could... This could put someone out while we heal them up and bring them up. Aid is an AoE. Oh, nine meters. Yeah, but it's only five points, whereas... Prayer of Healing is... A lot more. It's, it's not in combat, though. This is... And doesn't increase maximum health. But that's a huge amount of health. That is a huge amount of health. Right there. Yeah, I'm thinking... We might want to try Sanctuary, then. Yeah, let's try Sanctuary, then. Let's just give that a try. See what else we've got going with it. She can disguise and charm and mirror image. These all take slots. These are spells that she gets innately. Cantrips. Yeah. Produce flame and resistance. Make a target more resistant to spell effects. Okay. Yeah, right. I think we got everything. I think we should probably... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can't give up now. Keep a blade close. I mean, realistically, why do we need a full That's sleep nice. at this point? Because we've used all of our bloody short rests. All's well that ends. Yeah. Not as bad as it could have. That's the reason, isn't it? I've got no more short rests, and we're already down some health. Uh. I know I've got enough. I know I've got enough. Duh. Fine. I'm gonna end the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. Ladies. Relic. This is about the artifact, isn't it? What's going on, you two arguing? Stop squabbling, both of you. Watch the argument unfold. No, no, no. This is about the artifact, isn't it? That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Our like people. She spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom. Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. I agree with Shadowheart. The artifact is protects us. We need it. Githyanki is it. Lazel is right. I don't need my own kin as enemies. So any ideas how we settle this? Yeah, I don't want you two fighting. Any ideas how we settle this? 
The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you. I love it. Get some rest, Lazelle. You'll need it. What? The hell? You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. I get wakes up, sorry. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Shadowheart! You will not do this! Ah. Uh, Okay. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. No. Let me up, and I'll show you. <sighs> Cooperate, Lazelle, for your own sake. We need her, Shadowheart. Give her. Cooperate, Lazelle, for your own sake. No, Shadowheart, give her a chance for crying out loud. That is not the way. Can I do that, Lazelle? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, hands up who wants to be friends. I'm like, yeah, see, everyone's got their hands up. I saw you. You've got your hands up. You've got your hands Imagine up. Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Is it over? See, this is why I don't want to go to sleep. It's stressful. I'm just going to talk to her, so like, cheer me up. You would, could you dance a little bit? Could you just... Uh, not oh, over, no. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazelle settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. <laughs> ah, see, this is why I like talking to you. <sighs> I don't want to talk to her at the moment. I really don't. I should speak up. You're going to be really annoyed that I didn't let one of them kill the other, right? Mm. I really thought Shadowheart and Lazelle might fight to the death over that artifact. Yeah, me too. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. <sighs> yep, 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 of course you did. You really enjoyed the show. Right. <sighs> I just... I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. Eh, <sighs> true. <sighs> I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. Oh. Uh, I swear, this, it's, it's, it's like... It's like... Dealing with children. It really is. <sighs> Although I have to say, I'm more yes, King. unimpressed with Shadowheart. Is it me or have you been looking at me differently? First of all, about your quarrel with Shadowheart. It is over where I am concerned. Okay, can I trust you not to cause trouble? I'll simply kill you. I find it unbearable that Shadowheart... No, I don't. Look, it's a relief. You, we're not going to survive this if we don't stand together. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. Oh the next resolution may not end in her favor. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go there right at this moment. Just not. Not at this moment. She does seem to be being a little more polite and nice to me recently. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? 
to know you're not going to stab someone in their sleep. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about what happened with Lazelle. We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. Okay, yes, that's good. I'd rather keep things friendly between all of us. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Um, not putting knives to each other's throats. You know what? I'm just, you're, I'm, really, seriously? I'm just going to stand over near Carla. She's just relaxing, which is saying something. She's a tiefling with an infernal engine in her chest and can set fire to the entire camp if she gets irritable or overly excited. And yet, the most relaxing person except perhaps the dog. Come here. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'll keep you very well. How you doing? How you doing? Do you realize you are probably the most mature person in this camp? Except for me, of course. Yes. Most well trained as well. <sighs> I'm scared to go to sleep now, I really am. Is my owl bear gonna come? I'm, I'm thinking we leave it there anyway. Because it's actually late o'clock here. This settles it. I should probably not bring Shadowheart and Lazel at the same time. Probably. You're so close to level up. Well, sleeping isn't going to change it. <laughs> oh, wow. They're all so high maintenance. Except for Karlak. Oh, and Will. Even Gale, though. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. Just feed him the odd magic item, he's fine. So he might explode and take out a city or two. <laughs> I mean, just, honestly, I'll take him, the exploding tiefling, over the rest any time. I mean, Will... No, yeah, Will's okay. Gale only consumes artifacts, not nerves. Yeah! Although I gotta be honest with you, I mean, I, I guess this is Shadowheart's way, isn't it, really? She comes across as, like, all cleric and... But she's all dark and secrets. Slitting her throat in the middle of the night, that's... Yeah. All things considered, I think Lazelle took that really well. Oh, Halsin really has a calm aura. Can I get rid of him? I mean, like, can I just pick him up and dump him in the waterfall or something? <laughs> Don't know if that's possible or if it's... She worships Shah. Yeah, it's sort of, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? He needs to stay. I could put him in a box. If we store things in Halsin, do, do they stay? I might want to test that theory. Another container for, you know, important stuff. You can store bodies in your inventory if strong enough. Oh, okay. Put them in a box or a barrel. Dump him off screen so people don't attack you for it. No, they can't attack me. <laughs> I... I I do not even see it as an attack, to be honest. Out of sight, out of mind. Lazelle secretly probably respected Shadowheart's initiative. What do I think about Withers, though? Eh, not a lot to think about. He's kind of, you know, just there, isn't he, really? I'm ignoring you, Quarico. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, why have I got two OBSs open? Well, luckily it didn't mess with anything. Well, that's good. Good to know. 
So when you going to sell a stallion at the marketplace? Might do that, actually. God, he's annoying. He really is unbelievably annoying. Oh. I think I'm going to uh, take those gloves with me that, that allow me to lockpick and give serious thought to just leaving a stallion behind. I can't leave Karlak behind ever again. She's just adorable. She's adorably positive. She's like the absolute mirror image of a stallion. She is his absolute opposite. I mean, Lazel started off being the annoying one with the stallion sort of taking the runners up position, but now he's just like, I'm sort of secretly hoping that Carlac will kill him <laughs> at some point. But I don't think she'll actually kill him with weapons. She'll just drive him mad. <laughs> Character development of Lazel is amazing. Ah, she's sort of, yeah. I kind of want to talk to her a bit about things. But I felt like I was getting a bit flirty there. I felt like that was, you've been looking at me. Hey there. And all things considered, <laughs> considering the, uh, the, the night I had with Shadowheart, that might be an absolute surefire way of getting those two to be murdering each other. So, yeah. Watch Reggie's dexterity. He can astral knowledge dex skills? I don't... Astral knowledge. Is that one of his abilities? Wait, 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 wait. His dexterity is quite low, I think. But is that, is that one of the abilities he has and he can do... Every now and again? Doesn't last very long, does it? Racial ability. Doesn't last very long, though, does it? Grants proficiency in all skills of a stat type. Oh, so it doesn't give you more dexterity, but... Until long rest. Oh, is it worth me just doing that on dexterity anyway so I can shoot better? It would give me sleight of hand and it lasts all day. Oh. Uh... Not a terrible idea, is it? We can get rid of Hysterion. You don't think astral knowledge helps with fighting? Oh, so it's only... Oh, it doesn't actually add dexterity, but does he add proficiency in... Only skill checks, not attack rolls. Okay. Hey, but still, you know, I mean... Or I could do it on strength and then be able to pick up beams and save people. All right, so that basically would just make me a better lock picker and trap detector. It wouldn't let me detect those things more, though. So the little side of me thinking, what we should do is get wisdom, so I can find them as well. Shadowheart can lock pick and untrap too. Is that her domain? Is that because of Shah? Is it? Can she? Can she be a decent lock picker? She's not got sleight of hand as her as a skill, does she? A starion is a damage beast, though. Yeah, not as much as Karlak or Lazel. And I'm not even sure he compares to um, Will for usefulness in a fight. I mean, if he can get the backstabs going, he's good. Remember the gloves give free advantage. Yeah, so that's probably best. The only thing is, is the gloves I'm currently wearing actually, don't they boost my, they're the ones that give me, 
The gloves I have give me the ability to use the longbow I'm using. That's the problem. Right there. So for me to use the gloves, I'd have to take them on and off every time picking a lock. Um... So I could swap them in and out, but that's going to get really annoying. But, I mean, if, if, can I, this, this astral knowledge, I can't, I can't, it's a racial ability, so I can't cast it on someone else, can I? It's got to be on me. So, yeah, I just swap them in and out. Just drag both gloves to the hot bar and click, click. Yeah, I mean, I'd find a way around it. I'm probably going to keep a stadium with me for a while. But at some point, I don't know what happens when you get to negative affinity or whatever it's called, negative um, attitude. But I'm guessing he's going to bugger off. Yeah, I'll, I'll message you, Quarago. He'd leave. Okay. It's very hard to get them to leave, don't worry. <laughs> Not that worried. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, he can be quite useful in combat, though. I mean, he's, he's pretty good. I just feel like the other three damage dealers, not Gale, but um, Lazel... Will and Karlak just do really good damage. Mind you, he does as well. You know what? I'm probably missed. I'm probably. Yeah. Lazel and Shadowheart have great banter. Yeah, yeah, I should take those two along more. Good grief. It would be better if you tried sneak attack more often. Thing is, is I try to avoid letting the enemies get to the... To, I mean, I, I've been reasonably um, lucky so far. I've managed to sort of keep the enemies a little further away from me. Control how they approach. Mind you, I don't have the uh, Watts of Daggers now. I don't have the Cloud of Daggers now. Because I didn't have will. Maybe I should... Does Dubard get Cloud of Daggers as well? Maybe I should take that one. Um, but I've, I've managed to sort of make it so there's very rarely that much melee combat. You haven't quite got the handle on the sneaking part. The sneaking part doesn't seem that difficult. But in combat, it's, it's less about the sne getting the sneaking going and more about just if they get disadvantaged because... Sorry, uh, threatened. Gale can do Cloud of Daggers too. Right, but that's... You know, I've replaced Will with Shadowheart. I, I can't... If I put Gale back in instead of Shadowheart, we've lost... I mean, we're bringing Shadowheart along because she's got the perception. She can spot things. I'm wondering whether when we level up, can we can we give her sleight of hand? Can she take it? Is it is is it is it something a cleric of shark can actually do? Because it might not be the craziest thing. If you have a summon creature like a bird, you can use it. Oh. Could we use Shovel Invisible and just put him next to an enemy and then he can get backstabbed? Okay. She doesn't need it, but yes, there's also Guidance. Oh, she gets Guidance, doesn't she? Probably don't need it. I probably don't like. It's, 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 I've not really had that much trouble with picking locks. I thought I was going to have and then run out of pit, uh, lock picks, but in actual fact, 
I've got a Starion with a bunch that he's not lost any. I've got some on me, and I've actually stored a bunch in the chest in the camp. So, you know. Anyway, ladies and gents, I'm going to get out of here. I'm, um, I'm going to go to bed. It is late. We will be streaming Sunday, which I guess is tomorrow now. Um, 9.30 my time, I believe. 9.30 my time over on Twitch. Divinity Original Sin 2. Myself and Quadico, we're going to be continuing on with that. I will be back next Thursday with this, unless I have another random stream, but let's just say Thursday for now. And uh, I hope you can join me for that. Thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you to all of the new members, re-members, and the super chats. I much appreciate it. We currently have 261 concurrent viewers. 249 likes. Hey, that's not a bad ratio. Not a bad ratio. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. Good night.